and welcome to AFK here on the Loading Ready Run Network. I am Ben, and joining me this week is Adam Savadan. Hi. Graham Stark. What's up? And Serge Yeager. Howdy. And we are back with more Mansions of Madness. We return to the Mansions of Madness. What's interesting enough about that is that we won, mm. and James lost last time. Yep. And yet, and he died. And now he's not here. Yeah. And we replaced him with a much more reliable teammate. We voted him off the table. Yeah. And uh, Look, we don't we don't invite losers back. I'm to more, the... I am definitely not more reliable than James. You play to win, James? and that might involve <laughs> sacrificing <laughs> all of us. Yeah. Play you win. play to win. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe next time we play for Mansions better of Madness. or for worse, <laughs> I do play to win. Maybe next time we play Mansions of Madness, it'll be just you and Paul, <laughs> like, yeah. and, like Court of Peril. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome everybody. We are returning to the Mansions of Madness uh, today uh, because we had so much fun playing it last time and yeah. it's super, super cool. Uh, also, we have expansions for it and we want to get to those, Ooh. so uh, I figured we would That's play... That's not going to happen today. No. We, we still have... We played one scenarios yeah. of the base game. Yeah. So I figure we're, we'll play maybe one more of the base one and then who knows, maybe we'll move on to the, the expansion. Um, but uh, before we get into that, a reminder that this stream is brought to you by the amazing folks over at wormwoodgaming.com. Uh, if you want to get one of their amazing products, like for example, this dice tray that we've got up in front here that we'll be using all stream. Uh, and you live in the US, you can use code LRR for free shipping, or everywhere else, you can use the code LRR World for $10 off shipping. Paul? Wormwood Gaming, the bones of trees and the skins of beasts. What? You did do oh! it! I was wondering if you did it from last time. <laughs> Yes! Paul! <laughs> you hero! <laughs> I, it was the moment, the uh, moment I said Paul, I was like, huh, I wonder if he did that thing we talked about last week. Wow! <laughs> I'm so proud of uh, him. I'm so amazing. happy. <laughs> Um, also a reminder that everything like we, we do... even automated the table slab. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have to 2020. Our uh, video games. The I, like, I don't actually want to play the game. I just want to... Soon. We're yeah. developing that technology. <laughs> the mission statement of Loading Ready Run was owning and refining our things, of uh, the, the products that we put out. And I think that's a great example of it. Yeah. Um, but also a reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you over at our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. You're the reason we're able to do all kinds of cool things. Like, for example... Uh, there are some of them are already here. Uh, on Friday, it's the uh, Theros Beyond uh, Death PPR. Yeah. Um, all of our uh, there is no punctuation in that. It's come up for me a lot because I've had to write it down for different graphics and things we're making. Yeah. It's just Theros Beyond Death. There's no colon. No. Oh, okay. That's what throws me off. I know. Yeah. Even though it's in Lurbot. Whoops. Well. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Mm -mm. You're not Lurbot. That's true. That sounds I'm like not. the bot's problem. Yeah. <laughs> And the bot. No. Um, Mods? No. Julia Mott's going to fix it. <laughs> we're going to have a whole bunch of really cool folks coming on in here. Uh, we've got Nadine, this is a cosplay. Uh, we've got uh, Alias V coming on in. We've got Krim. Uh, and we've got Melissa Del Tora. So, uh, yeah, we've, it's going to be a whole bunch of good folks. And also, you know, we got Graham and Adam and uh, Kathleen and Cam. They're here, too. Uh, and <laughs> they'll, be, they'll be... One of them is in the building. Choose wisely. I just like applying choose wisely yeah. to, to random options that don't matter. Is it the new checkmate atheists? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be super, super cool. Really looking forward to it. This set looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let's talk about Mansions of Madness. We've, uh, we've, oh god, that emote, man. It's just so good. It's such a good emote. Oh, you're right. Also, hey, what's up if you're watching this on YouTube later? Yes. Hi. Oh, hi, YouTube. Uh, so we've played this game before. Yep. Um, so I'm not going to dive too deeply on into the rules, mainly because a lot of the game is pretty self-explanatory as you're kind of going on through. Uh, this is a game that we uh, utilize an app, which is why we've got the uh, the, the tablet Ooh. here. Uh, and it's going to be working in conjunction with a lot of the stuff that's going on on the table. Um, a lot of the times, things are going to ask us to do different kinds of checks. Um, each of us is playing a... <laughs> Sorry. What's hands. up? Yeah. yeah. That one's real good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah, it gets uh, better. Yeah. With, the, with the modifier? Yeah. It gets better. Oh, that's great. Damn it. Sorry. Um, <sighs> each of us is playing a different character. Uh, they've got all kinds of different stats on them. Um, so there's strength, agility, observation, lore, influence, and will. Uh, they have uh, predetermined uh, numbers on them, depending on what character you're playing, as well as a health stat and a sanity stat. The, the sort of the main thing is whenever you take damage, as opposed to taking some sort of form of number, uh, instead what you do is you uh, take a card 
from these. And Any these card. Yeah, and these cards, well, off the top. The top card. <laughs> yeah. uh, and these cards are going to do various different things to you, um, as well as track the number of damage that you've taken on. Also, you. check out this new technology. Yes, Paul put this together. It is so fantastic. Now you've got us in the wide. You've got all the important information here, as well as the, the iPad. App. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's uh, this, this is that. That's the this. Yeah, yeah the everything same. you're seeing it's on here, it's thing. on there. Um, so shout out to Paul. He mm. did a Yay, tremendous Paul. job on that. Um, but that's basically it. Like there, there's a couple of like interesting kinds of things, but you'll you'll kind of un understand as we're going along. Um, but uh, the reason <clears throat> the table's pretty much blank is because we're gonna do all the setup right before your very eyes, oh. just like magic. Um, so, without Ooh. further ado, Paul, you got that spooky music, buddy? Ooh, yeah, ah, my yeah. foot stuck. Isn't that just in the app? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just brought it down while we were talking. So let's do this thing. We got a new game. It's so, so atmospheric. Yeah, last time we played Cycle of Eternity. Mm. Its duration was 60 to 90 minutes and was a two-star, so the next I level... Went, I went briefly insane and then helped everybody but James win. Hooray! Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Uh, this time we're going to be playing Escape from Innsmouth or oh, Innsmouth. I've heard of I've heard of Innsmouth. Yeah, uh -oh. Inns, traditionally, isn't that a Cthulhu thing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this, I, is, oh. this whole series is is actually like the Arkham. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody's ever heard of Innsmouth other than and associated with you see the, Cthulhu. See those those very large miniatures over there, Adam? These the, these Cthulhu esque. The one I broke. Dudes. Yeah. The Innsmouth it's, marketing it, it board has a lot of yeah. work to do. You put it back. Hi there, name's Norsh. This is my first AFK. <gasps> Hi, Norsh. Hi, Norsh. Hi, Welcome, Norsh. friend. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to do Escape from Innsmouth. It is a four star difficulty. Went from two to four. That's a ramp up. This is number two? This is number two. Okay. Did we feel like we coasted in the two difficulty? No, we, we did not. <laughs> we, we super did a smash and grab and got yeah. out of there. You guys are way more experienced now, though. Yes. Yeah, we definitely remember everything yeah, that went on. We're all very experienced. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a shadow lies over Innsmouth. I th that's how you pronounce it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. While looking into it's mysterious weird, happenings right? in the coastal town, you have run afoul of a powerful, powerful enemy. Can you survive the night, uncover the truth, and most importantly, escape with your lives? Yes. Maybe. Unlikely. God, God, I hope so. Surviving the night and escaping with your lives are sort of both closely related. Yeah. One is one is a step on the way to a goal, right? You yeah. Know? So uh, the characters that we've got is I'm playing William York, same as last time. I'm playing Rita Young, same as last time. Were you playing uh, Serge? I switched it up. I'm playing Wendy Adams, the urchin. Ooh. Uh, her special ability, you cannot become stunned or restrained. That seems mm. pretty good. I guess I should say, yeah, Rita, the athlete, is you may move one additional space as part of a move action. That's really cool. Yeah, she she got bored beating up the KKK and decided to start beating right. up... Right, I forgot they all have stories. The lore is so cool decided here. Decided right. to start beating up Cthulhu cultists. That's really cool. Yeah, uh, Yeah. William Yorick, uh, my thing is whenever I defeat a monster, uh, or sorry, whenever a monster is defeated, uh -huh. if any of us get a monster, I gain a clue. Nice. Mm. Um, and clues are cool little things that we can utilize to uh, change the dice rolls. Um, what are you playing, Adam? Who are you playing? I guess they're, they're, uh, they have feelings, Ben. I'm, uh, I'm Carson Sinclair. Yeah. I'm a what butler. character is it playing? Why do they let it stream? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a butler. Sloth Love Again, Chunk. Another investigator within range may perform one action. That's my action. Yeah. Activate this ability only once per round. So, oh yeah, we all take actions at the same time. More or less, yeah. I mean, we just choose in, in a way. Uh, so apparently my old employer started dabbling in the occult. And Good. that's cool. Carson cool. didn't nice. agree with that. Uh-huh. And then uh, Mr. <laughs> Webb got drawn through an impossible hole in the sky while I was bringing him tea. And then no one believed my story. I mean, I would be... Uh, dubious. So you're a butler with no one to serve? Yeah, there's a... How sorry, did you become a detective? The <laughs> business manager took over the estate and froze all the funds so none of the kids got any money. Mm. And Carson's trying to figure out how to get the money. Is he still, ah. getting, is he still getting paid? Uh, It doesn't look like it. That sucks. That's a bummer. Yeah. I, uh, I, I was going to say, in the last scenario, I seem to recall being the butler, or the butler did not fare very well. Oh, right. Butler died. 
Oh, right. So last time, it was oh, hilarious. Yeah. We went to a room. This is Adam is for your benefit. We went to a room and there was like a noise behind it. We're like, oh, we're not going in there. And it's like, oh, there's a person who needs your help. They're getting murdered in there. They're just dead now. And we're like, oh. Yeah, we didn't go fast enough. We heard like noises oh, yeah, from I behind the door. Helped. No, we heard noises from behind a door, and then yeah, later no. we went in there, and there absolutely was a monster not. and a dead guy. Yeah. So, oops. Yeah, like, absolutely. Well, now not. it's just a room with a monster in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a locked room. I'd be like, yeah, close the door. <laughs> Bye. All right. <laughs> Investigators begin the scenario with the following. Yeah. Gambler's dice, magnifying glass, shovel, thermos, wither, oil lamp, old journal. Oh, and we get to pass these around. Yeah, we get to decide yeah. how these get doled out. So, so wither is a spell. We're missing ah. some of these. Uh, well, and spells are lore or spells are their own pile. Yeah, no, I'm looking at the items right now. Oh, can't find them. You wanna pass them over? and I can give you a hand searching. Why? <laughs> All right. So this should have the oil lamp and the old journal in it. Okay. Uh, and then, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, that should have the spells. Um, so I found the magnifying glass and the shovel. We still need the thermos and the gambler. The oil lamp and the old journal. Is that what you There's said? Soup in the thermos. I hope so. That's the only way to eat too. And so what else the you're only for? way to eat soup? Yeah. You can eat soup in a mug. Mm. It's just like drinking. It's like a, you know, a mug of like but chicken it's not, noodle. Like. It's not covered. What about a bread bowl? Because then you eat the bowl. Yeah. yeah. That's classic. Yeah. Wait. The only way you can eat soup is if it's covered? Yeah. How do you get it out of the thermos? Like with, with a handkerchief so that God can't see? No, no, no. Like <laughs> a French onion soup. You just put some more cheese and bread on top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It should, the, the, sh the soup's right. face should never face God. You cover it with cheese and bread, and then you just stick it like a straw through the Yeah, side? yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't want to see the soup. All right. Uh, so, so welcome to AFK, everybody. <laughs> we straight up do not have the gambler's dice or the shovel. So, so I think what's happened here is I told it that we have the Arkham expansion. Yeah. And some oh. uh, uh, Johnny B. Uh, Johnny B. Hood. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, in the chat, says, says that those that's where that is. Oh, in the streets of Arkham stuff. Uh, Where's that? That's so, the unopened oh, box. Yeah, maybe maybe All we right. should we, we could go back and just turn off the streets of Arkham stuff. Yeah, maybe Would we that should be easier than opening I, the box. Yeah, I think so. Oops. Okay, fine. Help! I opened but the app. and I stood up. Yeah, I, well, I walked all the way over Paul. there. Paul, oh. that's a sunk cost fallacy right there. Oh God, <laughs> help! I stood up, therefore I must open. How do I force quit nap? I double, 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 Siri, double. force quit the Mansions of Madness app. Oh, I hope this works. I feel like the only way to eat soup is with a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it kept going. <laughs> it kept... <laughs> this is not helpful. <laughs> double, double click the home button. And then you just... Yeah. Ah. <laughs> thanks, Paul. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> sorry. Turn. <laughs> turn off. The. Uh, the iPad has displayed displayed an infinite the, loop. You must concede. Turn off the mirroring. Yeah. Turn off the mirroring and then open up the app and then turn it on. I think the the app is a little bit wonky. Well. <laughs> Here we are thinking we were uh, getting ahead of the game. What is the best suit? I just like a good old tomato soup. Tomato bisque. Tomato bisque. Campbell's Camp tomato with rice. Mm, yeah, Campbell's tomato, chunky tomato soup. Tomato rice is pretty solid. Paul, can you fix the thingy so that it can mirror? Taco soup. Uh, it's not showing up on the Taco it is soup? Not. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Spe specifically the one from Taco Fino and Port. Can you imagine if this remembered where it crashed? <laughs> when it melts, is it soup? No. It must be hot. Chat. I guess gazpacho. Is melted ice cream soup? No, we're not. No. Why? We're gonna make Ben upset. Making all the mods upset. <laughs> oh. uh, try now. So we uh, try it now. Paul says. Ah. It's coffee go. soup. <laughs> I had this argument with my girlfriend. Yeah, it's a, it's a bean soup. It's a bean soup. Is it a bean soup? I was like, mm, I guess it's more of a broth um, than a soup. So you, this is you cream of bean. Cream there, of bean. Tap on it and say you don't have it anymore. Ah, I understand. There. Disable okay. that expansion. Nice. All right. all right. There. All right. New game. Back on track. Sorry about that. It's all right. There's no way you could have known. Yorick. Oh, that's why I didn't have the. It's the characters too. That makes sense. Yeah. Yorick. Carson. Wendy. Carson. Carson. Wendy. All right. So now instead we're using. Ah, these are definitely ah. ones I've seen. Oh. 
So the old journal is still out. Do we still need the oil lamp? We no longer yes. need wither. We now need shriveling. <laughs> What's the difference? Of, yeah. It's kind of the same. I was in the pool. Okay. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> Why are you yelling at me? I don't like this. <laughs> I'm going home. No. He's Graham's role yelling playing. at me again. Listen, do you know how much KKK he's beaten at? A lot of KKK. Uh, he's a actually, little, little high strung. <laughs> somebody in the comments uh, for the last one was saying that you can just keep, put all of the spell, like all of the that version of this. Like there's probably several copies yeah, of that spell. Yeah, shriveling. Just put a stack uh, of them to the side. Yeah, because there's they never give you they never give out more than one copy <laughs> of a spell. Oh, okay. So oh, whoever cool. whoever will get that spell gets all of the copies of it. Uh, Hamburger thinks I need two apologies to you. Oh yeah, no, that's mm. okay. You don't have to. Well, I don't even. It's I'm not gonna. Friends don't have to apologies to each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm not gonna listen to someone who can't structure their grammar properly. <laughs> Let's talk about what these He's things. Australian, he can't help it. We've got the... <laughs> they forget there's an R in Melbourne. <laughs> yeah, Melbourne. So Shriveling is a ranged spell oh, yeah. that deals there. three damage. Yeah. Uh, who wh who amongst us looks like they're a spellcaster? So that is... Which which what mental is status against? spell specifically? I can't it, remember if it's lore or will. It changes all the time, I think. Well, buts. So who has the highest lore and or will? I'm, I'm three for all those stats, so it's probably not great for me. I'm I think it's... Four lore and three will. I've got four lore, three, seven, three lore, and four will. Actually, on, honestly, Adam, your will. mental stats look the best. You have four, four, three. I mean, just flat number wise, you're probably the best for spells. Guess what? You have a magic shriveling spell. You're our wizard. Why does the okay? Uh, so as Yorick, I have all. Would I? Would I? Can, have can I trouble. request yeah. the shovel? Yeah. So I have a heavy weapon. Hell yeah. Uh, ooh, can I get the brass knuckles? <laughs> Roll two additional dice when attacking unarmed. That seems That's my pretty strength cool. of five. Yeah. Uh, we've got the magnifying glass roll, one additional die when solving a uh, observation. So like we're all like, here, I'll get this cool shovel, Graham gets brass knuckles, I get a magic spell, and Graham, we just give Surge the magnifying, magnifying glass. glass. Well, I mean, that might be fun. So, uh, uh, go. observation. We put Surge in goal. <laughs> I'll take the magnifying glass, thank okay. you. <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've got <laughs> whiskey. Uh, which has an action you can discard. Oh my god! I'm oh, sorry, man. That was way too funny. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. So, whiskey is, as an action, you can discard up to two face-down horror cards on you. So you can Ooh. heal some sanity damage, but then you flip it, uh, and it becomes a broken bottle that you can use as a weapon. I, I don't have a weapon yet. You have a weapon, you have a weapon. Uh, Adam yeah. has an attack spell. I'll take the... I'll take Technically the, a weapon. The, how do you, wait, how do you pronounce it? Whiskey? Yes. 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 You really gotta whiskey. emphasize the uh, H. Whiskey. Who wants the old journal? It's some evidence. Uh, Adam only has one thing so far. You only have one thing so hey, far. I like and then you get the other one. What is it? An oil lamp. It's a light source. That's oh, that, it's literally what my dude's doing. He's got there a shovel go. and there an oil go. lamp Amazing. in his photo. Right. Role playing. Perfect. Great. Uh, and each of us gets to start with two clues. Do we get different? Does it give us different items depending on who's in the scenario? It, maybe it does. I, I guess mean, that maybe that's why we choose before. If your has a shovel and a lamp, it, it would make sense. That I mean, like, we didn't get that last time, mm. but... There's also a randomness to it, I mm. think. Yeah. Oh. All right, well, let's uh, continue set up here. And uh, I think... Cool. Yeah, all right. I don't know if this is supposed to be voiced. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. <laughs> they, they, they is didn't think HP ahead. Lovecraft yeah. impression. It's pretty good. We they, live on a, I'm sorry. What are you saying, Paul? I was just saying they didn't get Lovecraft to record any of these before. No. Mm. We just picture Wayne June from on Darkest Dungeon. Placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. The H.P. Lovecraft, noted racist. The yeah, I was about to say, I am racist. Cthulhu. He's a racist? Oh, he's so Super racist. racist. Oh, man. <laughs> Why yeah. is everybody... So everybody's like, cool world. Shame about the author. Yeah, yeah. that's mm. generally... Yeah, people are like, cool, we're going to use all these ideas. <laughs> Horrific. Yeah, right. <laughs> Horrifically racist. Yeah. Yeah. Racist. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. A strange feeling crawls oh. across your skin. I wasn't that, I wasn't, I wasn't that far off. Yeah, small right. Massachusetts town of Innsmouth. Everywhere you go, you can feel the gaze of the locals' unblinking, watery eyes on your back. In every alleyway, on every street corner, you can feel the presence of the stooped, pallid residents following you. Watching from a distance. Why does anyone live here? From a you came to the coastal town at the behest of Professor Harris, a mutual friend, 
who asked you to gather information on the lineage of the Marsh family. However, after only half a day walking the streets of Innsmouth, all you can think about is leaving the town and its unnerving residents far behind you. You check both the bus and the train, but strangely, both have stopped running. As the sun begins to set, you come to a frightening realization. You are trapped in Innsmouth. You rent an hotel room under a false name and resolve to hole up until morning. With the door to your room securely latched, you're finally safe from the prying eyes of the locals. Or so you think. Why don't you just walk I out tried of town? Yeah, that's what I was like. You got two feet in a heartbeat. We're not just on, leave. We're not on an island. <laughs> it's not like it's like you're surrounded by shark infested waters. You're just like, now nah, just walk out. I, I empathize yeah. with this. I'd be like, walking. <laughs> 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 also, coming from, uh, you know, not the most metropolitan place, uh, train and bus service not going late at night is actually not that uncommon. No. Yeah. That's not like something sinister going on. That's yeah. just... I don't know where I thought Innsmouth was, but I didn't think it was Massachusetts. Ma Massachusetts. Huh. Anyway. Uh, all right. So the hotel you found is a ratty hole in the wall on the back streets of the near the shore yeah. of town. Place oh. the street two tile as indicated. It's a... Uh, is it a two by one or a two by two? It looks like a two by two. Street two? Yeah. Oh, it's a two by two? No, I think, it's, I think it's one of those. Oh, maybe. I think. Street two? It looks like a two by two. They're double sided too. Are they? Oh, wait, alley. So, oh, here it is. Sorry. Street two. Aha. There we, there we go. So we are not inside. We are, in fact, outside. Didn't we just say we're holding up in a hotel room? Why are we outside? That's a very good question. Why? <laughs> we deserve to be. Outside the hotel, the street stretches up the hill towards the center of town. Place a sight token as indicated. Mm. There. The street continues east as a, a, a past a storefront. Place a sight token as indicated. Uh, ben, do we want to match what the overlay shows? So flip it over. Probably to make it easiest. I match these nuts, Serge. Hi. Wow, get going. <laughs> Jeez. To the west, the street narrows into an alley that stretches along the side of the hotel. Place a sight token as indicated. Hmm. Dim light fills the tiny hotel's interior hall. The hotel has only two rooms for rent. Place the interior hall tile, a door, and a wall as indicated. Oh. Which... So what, what's that one called? Uh, interior hall tile. Looks like that one. <laughs> Only two rooms, and those do not look like big beds. I'm just saying. Uh, For four so, people. So you're adding a door that's not there. Yeah. There's this little door here, uh, and then there's also a Wait, picture frame. Oh, I see. Oh, no, no. The door is. It's. Okay, sorry. It's because of the. It's uh, to the yeah. I'm, I'm trying to match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see what it's. So then, sure. hyper. Or, the other way. This is supposed matter. to be here, then. Yes. Yes. Great. That door no longer exists. Cool. Uh, the so other this doors. Is, this is only irritating for you personally. Great. Well, as long as you guys know what's going on. <laughs> the other doors lead out of the hall. One door leads to a side alley, and the other two are marked one and two. So we've got a deal here. Yep. And we've got a deal here. Nailed it. Um, you check your room key, you will be staying in room number one. Place explore tokens as indicated. You cram into your room and find it furnished by a lone bed with threadbare sheets and a bookshelf that holds two yellowing tomes. Let the situation sink in. You pace nervously around the confines of the room. Place all of your investigators. All tokens. four of us are just We're cozy all up in, in, this, in one in this room. room. All right. Um, this I'm sorry, dude. We, I'm sorry, we only have two rooms to rent. Uh, we'll take one. Yeah, just what? <laughs> just one, please. Right, that's Adam and... How many people are going to be in that room? Uh, one? So hold on. That's, is this? This is me. Rita? Yeah, Rita the athlete. Rita looks just, like she's ready to we hustle. We one behind each other and just pretend that we're one That's person. you. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, have a can, I have a candle Orbit stick. around them while staying in a line. <laughs> yeah. uh, moonlight spills through a dingy window. Ooh. Looking out towards the docks, place a search token as indicated. You glance over what little research you have managed to gather on the Marsh family thus far. The investigator holding the old journal can review the evidence gathered by interacting with it in the app. Ah, that's Adam. So 
Sorry? No, no, no. You, you don't need to look for anything right oh. now. But that just takes one of your actions. You right? can research that journal that you have. As an action. Oh, okay. Yeah, it actually gets this stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, everyone in the room jumps as you hear the ah. sound of the door handle jiggling. Someone outside is trying to open the locked door. Place an explorer token as indicated. Your eyes dart around the room. Stopping at the only other door, which leads to the back hall and the bathroom of the hotel. Place an explorer token, as indicated. Ah. And there we go. We are ready to play. So, somebody's trying to get in through this door? Yes. So, currently. And we can figure out the order here. And we can, um, we didn't cover the rules too much. We can set our turn in whatever order we want. It's not fixed. So we can kind of discuss what we want to do for the yeah. turn. Uh, I have a What's... shovel, and if somebody wants to mess, I'm, I'm gonna hit him in the face with the shovel. I have to up and look for clues. <laughs> I have to assume that this is like just someone who works here. Yeah, yeah I think so. Do you want to open the door? Yeah, I do. So you're gonna have... open the door? Sure. The thing is, right. you can you tap to look at it, but don't activate it. Right. Sure. And kind of look at the door. Yeah. yeah. Right. You put your ear to the door. You hear the raspy breathing of someone on the other side trying to open the lock. What would you like to do? I'm going to barricade the door. That's a reasonable. I'm going to throw response. open the door. What do you want? <laughs> throw open the door. Yeah. You, you put your go. shoulder into the door and send it flying what the open. F- Whoa! Yeah. That I, throw open. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Roll five dice. Am we, I rolling? We're, am we're coming a out strength sweet. roll for this. Yeah. You're gonna kill. Oh boy. You're gonna, you're gonna bash open that door. The other side. Uh, two action. Two successes. Is that what that is again? Yeah. Two. So two, I guess. All right. And it's currently locked. The door flies open, slamming into the person on the other side, and he reels back. As the figure recovers, you see his sallow skin lar- and large, unblinking eyes that he is one of the locals. Discard the explorer token and spawn a deep one hybrid. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. They just went right to... Uh, ah, right there. into it. So now we remove okay. this, right? Yeah. Because there's a big chungus. There's just a the dude back. there, all right. Now that is your action, so you can't attack it this turn? No, he can. That was one... A- he gets, you get two actions, right? I thought you got two movement, one action. Right, yes. Damn. Uh, like oh, move? wow. Uh, the local clutches his face and you notice blood streaming from his nose and forehead. The deep one hybrid suffers damage equal to your test results. Oh, oh. good choice. So in, in this, you did two damage. Yeah, nice. You may move one space into the interior hall. Would you like to do that? Sure. Hey, buddy, what's up? Uh, all right. So I can't, I can't punch him because I've already... All right. I mean, you can try and walk away, but I think he makes like a, an attack against you. Oh, oh, right, right. Move is an action. Mm-hmm. Oh, that right. lets me move two spaces. Right. So yes. how many actions do you I use get? One. Yeah, how and many? You get actions? two. You get two actions a turn. Great. Then I want to so, do a punchy punch. All right. Because so that, that was a free move you got there. Yeah. Uh, all right. You're attacking him. Yeah. What type of weapon will you attack with? Uh, attack, unarmed. Yeah. Your enemy attacks are your enemy's attacks are quick and relentless. You focus on evading the strikes and search for an opening to begin your counterattack. Uh, oh, you're gonna make a observation check. Why? Yeah. You gotta beat two. Well, but I get to roll two additional dice because of my brass knuckles while attacking unarmed. Yeah. Wow. So. Your brass knuckles make you so much more observant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that this game isn't just about strength attacking though. You know. Nah. So you got one success and it said you needed two. Uh, so you could you use could, one of your clues. If you pass, you strike the opponent's out of balance. If you fail, yes, I'm going to turn in a clue and turn this clue. That's how this works, right? Yep. Turn this clue into a success. All right. Uh, so you did. So yeah, if you uh, pass, you strike while your foe is off balance and it stumbles and collapses under the weight of your blows. Yeah. The monster suffers two damage. Ooh. All right. I'm fine to jump out and try and finish this off. All right, go get get it, Wendy. Or I mean, I have the magnifying glass, so I can do a clue thing if somebody wants to go out and kill. Who would rather? I'm I got a I got a shovel. I'll smack this you boy. Wanna, you'll go out and shovel, then I'll investigate the clue in the room. All right, so I'll use my my move uh, action and I'll hippity hop on which, out which, here. Which we've discovered we can that you split can split up. So I'm using one yeah. to move in. I've got one banked, um, and uh, yeah, I'll hit this boy with my shovel. Get him, Ben. Shovel the deep one. We're a lot more. We're a lot more attacky than this one. So I've got a, a heavy weapon. Well, they started off combat, right? Yeah, yeah. Like knock, knock. Open up the door. It's a deep one. Like <laughs> <laughs> you whirl your body around, weapon outstretched. As you come around, you release the weapon, launching it towards your enemy. Wait, I, I, yeah, I, you throw it. I don't know. Your shovel. Listen, it seemed cool. I Dude, saw it in a movie once. Just two hands, just. 
Do you uh, have to do that? All right, agility. What does the? I cannot remember what the little red one symbol means. Is it? Is it? Um, oh, range? if you pass the weapon, it's catches the figure on the chest, throwing it to the ground, and you walk over to suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your result. Okay, that's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. I think the word means reach. I think it means. I yeah, think yeah, it means yeah. reach. I'm not no, it, sure. so it literally just says it, that's the weapon damage. Oh, yeah. okay. so he's gonna deal the weapon damage plus the result of this roll. Okay. All right. Yeah. My. my that's a good question, alien nanobots. If you throw a shovel, do you throw it? Like a hatchet or like a spear? I think it's so. It says that you throw like this. Uh, that's, that's it says I whirled my body around, so I think I'm shot putting it. Oh, <laughs> or you're like hammer or, throwing, or hammer like throwing hammer it. Throw. Sorry, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. It could be a caber toss. Anyway. Uh, Whoa! I clobberize. <laughs> Dang. So four. So four damage. Boop boop. Yeah. Are you sure you want to describe this monster? Yeah, we do. Your attacker collapses onto the floor. As he falls, something clatters from his stubby webbed fingers. Webbed? <laughs> Gross. Uh, place the cult sigil unique item in the Deep One's place. All right, get out of here, Deep One. If I was going to attack deep. man, if it were me, yes. <laughs> attacking a man with a shovel. Well, what is it called? The cult uh, sigil. Yeah. I think I'd probably just like try to use it like a pole arm and aim for the neck. Oh, I would just swing it like a baseball bat. Yeah. Mm. I, I was really hoping so flat. that... I feel like it would put you way off balance if you miss. Yeah. I, I, um, I was really hoping that it was going to be like the, you know, the menu for breakfast. In bed. Right? It I assumed be it would just be a hotel hand. person. Yeah. So picking that up is an action. Which I don't think you have. You I do not. I've used two. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you, can, one move. you can move to the other side of the... I think I'm going to. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah it's abs- so to answer your question, that's it's absolutely an action to pick up an item. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to do anything first? Right, Adam? I get a clue though. I cast shriveling. Oh, somebody already grabbed it for me. I uh, know that's mine. Oh, well, now thanks. it's mine. Yeah, <laughs> works. Uh, so, Adam, do you want to do anything? Uh, do you mind if I'll lead and actually oh, investigate this? Thing, All right. Yeah. So, click on the question mark. What is it? A dingy window looks out over the docks. Sure, I will search the window. You struggle to see through the dense fog, but you believe you see a small fishing boat out in the bay. As long as the captain of the boat is not in league with the locals, that could be your ticket out of town. uh, That's a bit of a reach, but sure. You will need to find a way to contact the boat. Gain one clue and then discard the search. All right. Hey, everybody, I found a a boat. What a a logical leap to be like, look at that. There's a a fishing boat out there. As long as they're not... If they're not local. (laughs) Yeah, if they're not a bad guy. Uh, what does the magnifying glass do? That's a Hold clue up. tokens. So, so why you... did everyone in the town look like this deep one hybrid? I don't think so. They said if I got of... to a town, I'd be like the first person I saw. Like that's weird. I'm going home. Yeah. <laughs> they talked a lot about unblinking, watery eyes. Yeah. And yeah. That was also a descriptor here. Yeah. Um, so what did? Sorry, to answer Ben's question, these tokens. If you roll a magnifying glass, mm-hmm. you can use one of them to turn it into a success. Mm-hmm. Oh, is one of the things you can use clue tokens for. No, sorry, I'm talking about your magnifying glass. Oh, what does my magnifying Oh, uh, whenever I do a... Sorry, what you, sorry, they look the same. Yeah. Uh, this is if That's I have racist. to do an observ... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Nail it, buddy. Keep if going, I have to do going. an observation check, I can roll an additional die. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Gotcha. All sorry, right, so you, you passed me a magnifying glass. So I have another action? I passed you a clue token. Um... He's correct. Do you want to listen at this door before you move, maybe? Yeah, let's put my ear to the door and see what's up there. So the second door to your room leads to the hotel's back hall and shared bathroom. Do you think I should open up another path just in case? Like, split the party? What do you, what do you guys It's not really split. Like, we're not far split. apart. Right, it's just I, a bathroom. I open the door. It's just the bathroom. All right. Uh, behind your hotel room, a cramped hallway leads to the hotel's public bathroom. Place the so wait. It's not even just a shared. It's the public bathroom. Yeah, we'll take so a pe- hallway to a shared. Yeah. So yeah. So like people who aren't even staying here are using the toilet that you use as a guest <laughs> of the place. Shitter's full. Take yeah. forty points ass. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> place the hotel bathroom tiles indicated and discard all t- explore tokens leading to it. Yeah. All right. An end table sits in the corner of this hall. Place a search token as indicated. Yeah. Uh, there is also a worn door which leads to gotcha. the shared hotel bathroom. Yep. Place an explorer token as indicated. Uh, as well as opposite this bathroom is a heavy door marked Henderson's. That's this Place way? an explorer token yeah. there. Uh, you may move one space into the explorer. I enter the room. All right, Adam, it is your turn, buddy. I investigate this old journal. Ah. Okay. Um, so you guys are like, I watched. 
Graham and Ben just kill a man, and I'm just, <laughs> just like, like, this book seems to be. Yeah. Please, Adam, a fish person. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they don't have souls. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 so you have tracked all of the evidence you have managed, or you have tracked all the evidence you have managed to gather on the March family. You can compile the evidence you have found to see how close you are to in pr proving your suspicions. If you find enough evidence, you might even be able to solve the mystery here and now. Ooh, yeah, that seems unlikely, but sure. You still have a long way to go if you plan to accuse the Marsh family of some malfeasance. You need multiple more pieces of evidence. So that didn't cost an action. There oh. was no action symbol. There was nothing. But I think you're the person who's in charge of keeping all of our findings, and at ah. some point you're going to be able to compile that evidence. You can get another clue. Yeah, I'll go and. Uh, okay. Like, move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I pick this up. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can use another move and end your turn where Ben was. Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. Um, I don't know. What is that? It's a cult signal. Mm -hmm. It's evidence. Also oh, so now you have another piece of evidence. Yeah. Yeah, there was no way to, like, track that one. Well, there are things later on where when we finish the final puzzle, you can use a piece of evidence to re-roll sure. or whatever. So it might just come in handy then. Okay. All right. Uh, so that is everyone's made their move? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we're ending the investigator phase. Let's do it. All right. Which means maybe it's the mythos phase. Maybe nothing happens. Is it sigil or sigil? Sigil. 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 William Yorick is struck by a sudden wave of nausea and vertigo and becomes dazed. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Lol. I mean, I guess I did beat the crap out of the dude. You just, like, reflection on the fact that you oh, murdered it. a man with a shovel. That's all that happened. Cool that. turn. Uh, I cannot spend clues to convert dice uh, results or perform additional puzzle steps at the end of your turn. Okay, so, so I just can't spend clues. All right. That's what dazed does. For one turn? Yeah. We don't have a lot of info there. Do you mind if I start with the clue in this room? Please. And we'll see where that goes? Sure. <laughs> Please. Uh, an end table sits in the corner of the hallway. I look at it. You dig through the contents of the drawers looking for anything out of place. Uh, you must make a lore, lore check. Okay. Uh, what? Yeah, can't... isn't this where your, uh, your magnifying glass comes no, in? No, that's only for observation tests. This is literally where a magnifying glass okay. would be useful. Yeah. That's so silly. Oh, for obs oh yeah. observation yeah. is literally yeah. a skill. Yeah. 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 Shit, Paul? Yeah, Bull honkies, right? I get two successes. <laughs> two nice. successes. I mean, that's pretty good. You find an old piece of paper at the top of uh, one drawer. The strange script on it seems very out of place indeed. Gain the Flesh Ward spell and discard the search token. I am now a wizard. Gross. I find the spark of magic inside me all along. There you go. So Flesh Ward, action. You or another investigator within range Discards one damage. Nice. Then flip this card. I'm sure nothing bad is on the other side. You can you can look on the oh. other side. Uh, Flesh Ward, you feel an unsettling presence pass into your body. But you it, can look. So somebody mentioned that like you can look at either sides of a thing. They're not. So we had a. The we had thing a very... I watched said don't look at the other side until you use it. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. Let me. There was so there was a very no, very items you're not supposed to look at. Oh, you know, items you can look at, spells you're not. Ah, oh, okay. oh, because it's random. Items, yes, spells, sure. no. You didn't finish reading, random. so Serge knows we don't. Or do you know what's on the other side now? No, I oh. looked at like one or two. There's a wall gotcha. of text. <laughs> you like, open this drawer. Like, hmm. I want to give a shout out to <laughs> like right on a username I can't pronounce. On our last video, uh, they did a couple rules rules clarifications in a super uh, like well put way. Uh, Thoth7 actually is the one, or, or Tote7 okay. uh, is actually the one in, who did that? Oh, nice. great. chat right now. So. Right. Yeah, uh, thank you, you very much for that, friend. Yeah. So if, if you can look at the if items, you, if you'd seen more, you could also just shuffle the stack. But you, you, don't. you phrased it in a sure, very, very, very good way. Uh, for my yes. second action, which, which some people, for my second don't. action, haven't in the yeah. past. Yes. So. Yes. No, I was just. <laughs> oh, okay. It just sounded funny. Yeah. For my second action, uh, I'm gonna check out the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, note, note that if there's a bad thing in there, you won't have anything to do about it. That's fine. All right. What are the chances there's something bad in the bathroom? You open the door to reveal a dingy bathroom. Discard the explorer token. A dingy bathroom. There's a dingy in there. Inside you find literal... No, just... Oh, shoot. Uh, I don't know what that was, sorry. It... It's the toilet. Cool. Uh, a panel on the opposite side of the wall looks like it opens to the other side. Wait, it's there's two token. ways in... Oh, right, multiple ways in this secret, washroom. Secret bathroom door. Uh, you may move one space into the explorer. I door. enter the washroom. This is interesting. They have a continue button you can press, but if you touch anywhere on the screen, mm. <laughs> it moves on. So that's your turn, eh? There's yeah. nothing in the washroom! That All we right. can find. I can get there. 
because I can move one additional space as part of a move action. May I, may I join you in the bathroom? Please. All right. I mean, we're, all used to, we're all used to sharing a room, so. Uh, and then I'm going to search the toilet. A copy of the Innsmouth Tribune sits on the toilet tank. It's over 10 years old. It sounds like a toilet in a hotel. It has yeah. it has super nice thin pages, though. Yeah. You want to read it? Very absorbent. Yeah. Sure, let's read it. You skim through the paper. Do an observation check. That's the skill I wanted to use no, last turn. I should have let you do the searching, because I don't have a very good... I only have an observation of three. I'm more of a puncher. One. Do you punch the magazine? You find no articles of interest. All right. This is boring. Where are the funny pages? It is still there. Right. I will... I will... Let me look at that next turn. I should have looked at the other um, thing. I'm going to go check out this, uh, unless, Adam, do you have a thing you want to do first? Uh, is there, are they, they within range of me? So you can move two. Uh, so, One, two. Or are you talking about like from like a spell kind of thing? or They're not. Okay. Range is, um, uninter is, is as long as like you've got like a view of them uninterrupted by doors and stuff. Uh, you can go Actually, while I'm in the bathroom, uh, sorry, can I look at that? I, I know I oh, can't right. do the thing, but yeah. I can look at it. Uh, it's a panel in the wall that looks oh, like okay. it can slide it's open. The same before. Cool, cool. Looks like it can slide open. Uh, I'm gonna open this door. To the other bedroom. Uh, oh, the door to the hotel is... Wait, Adam, you've got a key. Maybe? Do I? You have the sigil. Is, didn't it say it was a key? Uh, yeah, it says key. I mean, it's probably not the key. I assume we need to get that from, like, the front desk. The hotel door leads to an alley right off the street. Um... I'm gonna open this. All right. Yeah, oh, the alley's spooky though. Yeah, I wouldn't go up there. You know what? I'm good at strength. I'm gonna bash down this door. Oh no! I literally cannot. Ah, okay. All right. We don't have the key. Um, you could go outside. Where there's a and look so at stuff. The, door. What, what is this? Key? That's a door. That's a door. Yeah. Yeah. It's because there's not. Actually, sure, I sure, guess sure, it sure. Should sure. be like. Mm. That? Yeah. yeah. So the moment I go out, I can see more, I guess. Yeah. See more butts. Uh, Are you going to do that? Yeah, sure. I go outside. Ooh. So let's see what we see. Or that should, that's a door. That should stay there. Oh, does it? Oh, right. Because otherwise there's no door on that wall. Yes. Uh, an alley of the street curves... Uh, an alley of the, the, the street curves around the building. Investigator in the street, too, may reveal the adjacent area. Whoa. You peer down a dark alley of the building. Place the alley two and the alley, er, the alley corner two and the alley two tiles as indicated and discard all explorer and sight tokens leading to the area. Was that beside the bathroom or on the opposite side of the bathroom? It is this way. Okay. I, I know that the like the little tentacle thing is just the indication of this set. Yeah. But it is like, put the two tentacle and the, <coughs> and the alley two tentacle tiles. Yeah. It's like, oh no. Cool. Wow. Yes, yeah. I guess we can shift everything down. This game is so cool. Um, and I think observations. In, oh, okay. Hold on. I guess we'll, let's finish this first. Uh, you notice a stack of several crates. Uh, place a search token as indicated. Got a pretty good start to crate for a board game. Yeah, crates are always good. Uh, one door leads to a building in the adjacent block. Unless oh. one of them is red. Yeah, this place is going to be huge. Um, place an explorer token as indicated. Uh, another door leads to a room behind the hotel. Place an explore token as indicated. And a site token. Interacting with site tokens is not an action. That's, yeah. That is correct. Because it didn't have the little action symbol. Yeah, that's the, the key thing. So I imagine it's just as I step out, this yeah. is everything but you're that not, I see. Oh. Do I need to be. An investigator, oh, wait, an investigator on the street two. Yeah. Which you are. So yeah. yeah, you can you can just we can just reveal all, all of that. Alright, let's do the city. Looking up the hill, you see the shapes of a dozen different figures shambling through the streets towards you. Nope, 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 nope. As nope, you nope. watch, you get the uneasy feeling that they're all coming for you. Suffer one face down horror. God damn it, I'm having a tough I mean, day. That would be unsettling. Yep. Uh alright, one face down horror. Coming in. Um heading into town will not be safe. You will have to find a different way out of town. Gain two clues, then discard the site token. This is that thing in like adventure games where you're like, I want to go up this road, and the guy goes, oh, No, that looks dangerous. Or I'm the not game, gonna go that way. Or yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> or the game just goes, There's no time for that now. So yeah, we yeah. now know we now know the map's probably not gonna expand this way. Cool. This is just a no you, zone, yeah. right? You all must right. gather your party before venturing forth. Uh all right, let's do this one then. Right? Doesn't that physically pain you? Yeah. <laughs> The street continues to the east, past the storefront, and an investigator may reveal this area. 
Holy Oof. moly. Okay. Next to the office, or next to the hotel, sits it sits an, a small store with a sign that reads Henderson's Odyssey or Oddities. Henderson's Odysseys would be a very different thing. Place the storefront tile as indicated and discard any site tokens leading to the front street. God, I don't even remember what happened in that game. Uh, it's a big one, it looks like. Is there a tile name in the bottom corner? Yes, it's the storefront. I think it's one of these ones. Oh, oh it's a two okay. By two. It's a two, it's a two by yeah. two. I thought it was two different pieces. Kind of looks like a... Storefront. It's it got pure. Sure. It'll say storefront on it. Mm -hmm. Basement. Oh, there you it take is. take these ones. No, it's on the back of this. That's the one. Front okay. street. Yeah, so that lines up with the street, and you can see this is the back door into it. Ah. They all connect. Um, all right. It's all connected, man. There is a... Uh, the store is dark inside, but you think you might see movement through the window in the door. Uh-oh. Place an explorer token. Huh. Uh, sight. Outside the store, an alley leading off the street wraps around the building. Okay, uh, so I assume I have to be on this tile to see yeah. it, right? Yeah, okay. So that was one movement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one of your two move. Um, you go left or right? I don't know. Are we going to... This particular track reminds me of the save rooms in Resident Evil. A little bit, yeah. Well, uh, There's a clue that way. Hey, there's a clue to your right. You can't get yeah. there though. I want to. So, are we gonna two by two advent? I don't want to adventure too far away from one another. Don't. Um, I guess I could just do like. I mean, the guys can come through the store and meet up with you in the alley. Oh yeah, we could pincer the. Assuming whatever. We could pincer in the Hendersons. Oh, this, this goes away because we know what's. Oh okay. Uh, I guess like. Give old Mister Henderson the pincers. I'll go this way. Or do we want to pincer Area movement the pincer. Sure. sure. Why not? Let's explore. All right. Uh, I guess I'll use my second act of movement then right. uh, to go there. And scout the other way. Yeah. I'm the scout. Oh, my goodness. You peer down a dark alley to the east of the building. Place the alley corner one and alley it. one tiles as indicated. I've already seen those in here somewhere. On the other side. Yeah. Alley corner. Sorry. Alley corner one and alley one. Yeah. Great. I guess hypothetically it means we could move everything here if it's not going to continue. Yeah. Past. So. And then. Yeah. Like so. Yeah, that seems yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. Like this goes here. Okay. And then this one is oriented, yes, that way. Great. Cool. Uh, oh, you see a drunk old man slumped against a crate. Place a person token. A person? Hit it with your shovel. It's fine. There. Is the drunk old man? He sits in the corner. Hello. I've never seen a person. Uh, a figure long. peers into the alley from a door leading to adjacent block. Place another person token. That one's I, here. Yes. I think. I think the reason oh, why wait, you haven't seen a person sorry. token before is because they got eaten nope. last time. Wait. No, um, yeah, the way. barrels on the inside or the outside. There we go. Got barrels it. are on the inside. There is another token that leads uh, somewhere. A door leads to a tower that stretches high above the rest of the nearby buildings. Interesting. Oh, God. It's going to be a big map. And just to double clear on this one, double clear, double check, this is impassable, right? That barrier there. So no, if Grandma and I come on the inside. No, no, that's not. There's nothing that indicates it is. We can hop over the. Well, we it's got a little flappy way. thing you can even okay. see. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, well, I mean, that was a double move for me, so that's my that's my turn. Adam, I'm here. I think, yeah, are you the only one that hasn't gone this turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're gonna go outside and investigate that clue? Yeah. All right, Adam. Several crates are stacked in the corner of an alley. You rummage through the crates looking for anything that could be of use. Observation check. It's a five. Whoa. Five. You roll five dice. You roll five. Yeah. Man, this yeah. butler knows what's yeah. up. Yeah, dude. Never met her butler before. Nice. No, not even once. Very observant. Very yeah, observant. actually, I haven't either. Not exactly our world. Two successes. So two. But if you want, you can spend a clue. You can spend a. Two. Mm -hmm. Well, how many clues do I have? I don't have any. What? You, you should have two. Oh, I have two clues. Yeah, yeah. And I can turn a clue into a success. Yeah. Yeah. It is tough to earn clues, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And the clue mask. I mean, yeah, I'll cash one. All right, all right. You'll have three. Pop it over there. All right, so three. You overturn a large crate and uncover something that could be of use. Gain the arcane manuscript. A uh, common item that should be in this thingy. Then discard the search token. Cool. Arcane manuscript. Do we have to take out the wings for this board game today? Who knows? Um, maybe. I, I mean, we might just need to put your things because, again, the. The audience can't really see. I feel it. like it's not going to get uh, much wider than this. It says roll one additional die while resolving oh, a lore right. test. Cool. What does it do? I get one extra die on lore. Cool. Just like that's a plus one stat boost, right? Like that's huge. Uh, so you still have one move. You want to come back towards where we are? Head out on your own. Uh, yeah. Goodbye, Adam. Yeah, he's forging you out. You can scout further now because you're in that tile. Oh, yeah. Do you want to check out? <laughs> yeah. All right. This will be a don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Die. God. All right, push it down that way, I guess. Are you looking for the pier? Oh, this is the the thing the out back. Yeah. yeah. Waves lap against the shore as you look out behind the building. Place the pier tile, uh, as indicated, and discard Arl's all. No, the shambling hordes this way. Yeah. Come on. Come on, there's lore happening over. We're just loring. Yeah. yeah. All right, just trying to lore over here. This is, this is Cthulhu, man. <laughs> Currently actively Nothing loring. Nothing bad happens in the ocean. Oh, um, right. hey. Let me try and square this up with the camera. There's some more crates here that you can check out, buddy. I know how much you like crates. Love crates. Um, there's also a HP waterlogged rowboat. They call me So Crates. That. We sure do. So crates. Everyone in the office, Adam, Adam, so, soggy uh, crates, Saturday. So crates. There's also oh, a so snack. So there's a snack stand. Ooh. It's it says snack shack right there. Yeah, it's a snack shack. Uh, it has been hastily closed up. Uh, and there is also uh, it ends. This pier ends in a sandy beach. Who likes to? Who orders treats? What, like what do what do soggy fish people like as treats? Presumably they weren't always soggy fish people. Mm -hmm. ah. I mean, fi fish food? Uh, you just want well, just they don't have soul, one. so they probably don't like treats. Yeah. Krill, probably. <laughs> All right, so that was everybody's turn, right? Mm-hmm. It is time for the mythos We've phase. We've uncovered a lot. Yeah. I'm afraid. The sky becomes blood red. Oh. Though neither... Right, I'm also not dazed. Uh, though neither the sun nor moon is visible in the sky. No immediate effect. Oh, good. Even worry about Ooh. It. Oh god, I'm like trapped by this. They actually show up? Yep. Oh. You hear the sound of approaching voices. Outside the hotel, a small mob of shambling locals is beginning to gather. They shout words of some indecipherable language at the hotel. Something tells you they are here for you. Spawn a riot, as indicated. A riot? This is the Innsmouth mob. They, it does not activate this round. I, I suspect a riot. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. look at that. Oh. Daryl, no! So, uh, uh, and they are <laughs> here. I think, they, I, I think they just started using that song in a PlayStation commercial. Did they? Yeah. Mm. I, I feel like this uh, is going to put a serious uh, time constraint on this operation. Um, more people from town continue to join the ever-growing mob. Fighting so many people will prove difficult. You'd better just evade them. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with that with the highest horror rating. After all the horror checks have been resolved, tap the end phase. Now it did say it doesn't activate this turn. Yeah, but also I don't is anyone in range of it? I think Ben is, because yeah. Ben has clear line of sight on it. Yeah. Is uh, that how that works? Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. The the mob says it's range on it, doesn't it? Like isn't there a, a number on it? Well the rain the rain range is if you see it and right. it's not obstructed by doors. You you done. I think you have to do a horror it. check. Um, I would assume, yeah, it wouldn't do it one right after another, right? So, good. All right. Having a good time. The riot begins to make disgusting japes and euphemisms, brandishing their weapons in odd and uncomfortable poses. Ah, Suffer one within three spaces, not blocked by doors. Gotcha. Sorry. Uh, suffer one face down horror, then flip one horror face up. Uh-oh. <clears throat> well, you have two horrors now? Japes and euphemisms. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, absolute terror. Suffer one additional face down horror, then flip this card face down. Oh my god. Ben, come find me. I'll give you some whiskey. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm uh, almost halfway dead. You can drink halfway your horrors insane. away. Uh, Alright, that was it. So. Full turn. I'm getting beat up here. I team. think you should go first. Me? Get away. And we either can try and go you. that way and talk to the old guy or try to get in through here. 
so yeah, I, I mean, I guess I don't know how far it moves, but I could probably outrun this thing. Probably. Or you could try to double back to us. Light up a tower. Yeah. The fuck is a jape? It's like a joke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, otherwise I just get scared. I mean, you guys could also open up, we could start opening up the, uh, the this, the, the, the stuff in between. Thing. Do you want to go first or do you want to get more information and go after? Like, I could go in the back. That's what I was thinking, okay, sure. yeah. Here, I'll go. Uh, do you want me to investigate sure, this first? go or for no? it. Sure, read the, read the paper. Well, if I may, please. Yeah. Could we figure out what's going on here to save me before we waste any actions like yeah, right. checking out so stuff in here? Move one here. I'm going to look at this door. All right. Can I even open it? You try the door, but the door is closed, and the door is locked. After a moment, you hear a voice from the other side say, Password. You can check the sigil, the, the, the cult sigil unique item for a password if you have it. Does that mean if... New England clam chowder. Uh, does that mean if we have it, or if I have it? Because Adam has it, and Adam's over there. So I do believe items are in an individual possession, though, so I'm pretty sure Adam has that. Person interacting? Yeah, okay. yeah. <clears throat> you cannot open Do you fake it? I mean, you're pretty good at... I'm going to try and force my way in. All right. You can take a step back and kick the door as hard as you can. It's uh, your strength <laughs> minus Password. one. Password. <laughs> Move. <laughs> so, minus one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two successes. Or is yeah. it strength... Sorry, I guess it's your strength minus one of the results, probably. Not minus one die. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I think minus one is right. You'd lose the ability to roll the dice rather than lose the success. It's the same success. thing, right? Like it's well, the same. it's slightly no, different. No, minus one die. Great. Okay, so that's two. What do we think? I think two is probably pretty good. Two successes is a lot. I don't know what it is. In the, I don't have to play this game. Well, if you keep in mind that a lot of people have a stat of three, it's like, you know, two is above average on a stat of three. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. The door frame around the lock splinters, and the door flies open. The figure on the other side stumbles backward from the blow. Fish person. Fish, fish person. Uh, the back area of the store is cluttered with boxes and crates. Discard all explore tokens leading to the storefront. Okay, so that's both Th of that's these not, now. No. Oh, yeah. It, it, does, yeah. it did get rid of it. All right. Well, you kicked both doors open. Uh, and it's got this thingy. I did a lot of kicking. Where does this go? Um, it goes right there. Um, a figure sprawled on the floor, still reeling from your assault. Spawn a cultist, as indicated. Ha ha! Wow. You You're really to... not into like opening doors. Apparently not. You just if that's actually great though, because now I can I don't have to waste an action getting in. I can come in and yeah. I don't know hit him with my cool shovel. <laughs> my cool shovel. You enter oh, the room. as the figure stands, you oh. see blood drip from the floor from beneath the cloak. The cultist suffers damage equal to your test result. Two. Sick. You're the door smasher. <laughs> Ka-chow! Harvey Wallbanger. Uh, an old radio sits behind the front counter, quietly hissing static. Place an interact token. We can radio the fisherman. Is my uh, where? suspicion. Uh, behind the counter. In the it's camp. like on the, it's like yeah. back there. Uh, there is also, <sighs> amongst the oddities, oddities on, uh, oddities, a box on display on the front counter catches your interest. Amongst the Odyssey, oddities, there's one thing that's totally Whoa. normal. You notice a fire extinguisher mounted on the wall behind the counter. Place the fire extinguisher common item, Ooh. which should be in neat this. Remember, fires and uh, light are uh, oh, uh, important are, mechanics. Fires are scary. Yeah. These are no longer alphabetized. They, uh, in a prominent glass case in the corner, a bizarre statue is on display. Place this token. There's a lot going on here. I mean, I guess it's an oddity store. They're usually jam-packed. Uh, a small but heavy shelf stand is near the door. You could use it to fortify the door should the need arise. Oh, we could do it. Yeah. There is all of this that may just be n never happening. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. You may move one space into the explored area if you would like. Uh, yes, I would. You need to go in and give them the old brass knuckles? Uh, well, probably, so you, yeah. That was your move. I've moved your... one. Right. No, no, that wasn't even a move. You interact with the door, opened it, well, and I get moved, to move in. I moved oh, one. you already yeah. moved. You, used both so you don't things. have an extra action. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, then I guess you can not move in, and you can go there. Can we like... tell how far a riot can move? Is that what the is the? I'll move here. I don't know why. I think if you move out of its space, so you take it a... Then I will. Opportunity. Yeah. 
You can opt to not enter the room. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What mm. up? Does it say something on the on the right? There are, should be a number. There's a it. number in the top right corner of seven. There's a number four beside it. Ordinary people in large numbers can be dangerous. Unfortunately, they are unusually dangerous to one another. How far can a riot move is my favorite U2 album. <laughs> <laughs> That's good plumbing slot. Um, yeah, this is just rules reference. Is it on learn to play? There's two, there's two manuals for this game. Uh, monster token, it is horror rating, uh, awareness. I guess it would literally say, like, during the thing. Horror rating. Horror rating. It does not it say how say. far they move, so. It, we'll, yeah, we don't, I guess, we'll find out next turn. I don't know what's more important, if it's, if I should walk in and barricade or if I should walk in and kill the cultists so we don't take horror checks. Probably kill the thing first. But what if they just walk in? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I think barricading is kind of relevant. Okay. Surge could also try come, to come and yeah, kill the that's cultists. True. All right, I move in to the, the room, and I barricade the door. So that's you take this, yeah. and you put it there. Yeah. And I assume... Goodbye, potentially normal humans in the hallway. Yeah, maybe they die. Yeah, it it says what they how they can move uh, when it's their turn. Yeah, it's their turn. I think it says so. like move move him two towards because yeah. it knows what guys are active, right? Yeah, it and I just want to double check how the barricade works. Um, bar yeah, component actions. Uh, some components or effects allow investigators to perform a component action. Component actions are described by the component or effect. Uh, barricade is block a door to prevent monsters or investigators from moving through it. Um, and if you need a breakdown of it, it effectively is... A barricade is a feature that can be used to block a door. As an action, investigator in a space ca uh, containing a barricade can move it across the door. Um, investigators cannot move through blocked doors or block secret passages. As an action, investigator can attempt to move a barricade. Um, and they can do a, a strength test. And if they roll two or more successes, then they move it. If, when a monster attempts to move through a blocked door or blocked passage, it can destroy the barricade by resolving the following steps. Determine a dice pool, the, di the, the dice of the monster, determine the dice of that the monster roll, the num this, this is a very weird, determine the number of dice the monster will roll. This number is its dice pool. Start, okay, so start with the printed value of the monster's brawn, the red number, minus, uh, red in the bottom right corner of the back, Start with the printed value of the monster's brawn, the red value in the bottom right corner of the back of the monster's token. Four. Add, add or subtract all dice as specified by other effects such as monster abilities. Four. <laughs> Roll dice. An investigator moves a number of, uh, rolls a number of dice equal to the monster's dice pool on behalf of the monster. The investigator cannot use an effect to re-roll dice or convert it. Okay. Thought says if, uh, yeah, they roll yeah. their strength number, which is the red number at the bottom. If they get two successes, the barricade goes. So up. it's got a number of four to just roll two, so. Yeah. We'll see, I, I guess. I think we're all right. It'll at least now. delay it. Um, I'm going to move into the spot with the cultist, and I don't know, we'll wang chung him if we don't. Okay, yeah. Adam, you want to do anything, or should I just run in and resolve combat, and you can explore after? You can do. All right, I'm going to run in here. One, two. I fight it. All right. Hit him with your magnifying glass. <laughs> that would hurt. I'm an urchin and I'm here. To... What do you got to use? I my bare hands. It's bare hands. You do have a spell, okay. Uh, no, it's a healing spell. Oh, right. Heal him. No. I heal the enemy. You unleash a flurry of quick off. punches, hoping enough of them will hit to make a difference. Uh, this is agility. Holy moly. Well, I have you five got, of those. You gotta pass a two. If you pass, you catch your foe a number of times in the chest and stomach, and it doubles over in pain and suffers Damage equal to your test plus one. I use two clues to get two successes. If you use your last one, you kill him. I use three clues. Because it's three plus one. I use all know, three clues. We the, oh, we do, we do know the HP, right. Yeah. Cool. All right, there. Now we're not going to suffer horror. Also, the store owner crumbles to the ground and a dagger falls from her hand with a clatter. Place the ritual dagger common uh, in the space. Here, I'll look for it. I got it. Because it's Adam's turn, so it's all good. Uh, okay. I'm still kind of confused about... So I can only... So move is an action, right? Yeah. 
So if I want to, I can't like search, move, search, right? No, because both searches are, you get two actions. Yeah. Move is one of them. Yeah. And but you get two spaces but with one move. A move action is two spaces. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to, I can go here? Yeah. I want to search whatever it is. What okay. Uh, is it? Before you use that action, do you want to look? It doesn't cost an action. Oh, I didn't see. No, there was. There was oh, I can look. Yeah, I look first. I okay. Uh, a wave wrestles as they break upon the beach. An investigator on the pier may reveal this area. Uh, it's a two by two beach. Uh, the beach extends across the entire back of the hotel between the two piers. It's sandy monotony, disrupted only by a forlorn shack. Um, the moldy shack looks like it connects to that hole in the bathroom. Ah. Uh, an old rowboat sits on the beach. Oh, sick. Let's get out of here. There's two rowboats. Um, that one's a moldy rowboat. That token is still there. I'm out of here. Oh, wait. Uh, you just figured it out. A single panel in the wall seems to lead into the building behind the shack. I like the, the little sea captain had like a secret bathroom <laughs> entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, place a secret passage as indicated, then move your investigator figure to that space? But I don't want it. Uh, I figure it's if you're walking through here. Oh, oh, maybe that yeah, seems like a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then it's got this little door. Also, don't forget your free clue for the cultist eating dirt pen. Oh, right. oh yeah. You have so many clues. Ben currently has six clues. What are you going to do with all those clues? I guess solve a mystery. Cast magic Smooth. missile. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Uh, on the far side of the beach, you see a dock holding a boat rental building. A uh, door off the beach leads to a room behind the hotel. Interesting. Hey, hey, guys, guys, you should rent a boat. Yeah. Should rent a boat. Well, I don't know. Why are we rent a nice boat when we've got these completely, probably yeah. free robots? Search you search that one? Yeah. All right. The Crate Master. You dig through the abandoned materials for anything of use. Observation. Let's see it, bud. Observation again. Nice. Paul, oh, this setup looks so good, by yeah. the way. It was good. Two success. Nice. Amongst the rope and other boating equipment, you find something that could help you escape. Uh, gain a gun. I got a gun. <laughs> have this revolver. It's a 38 sick. revolver. Have a gun. Hmm. Cool. Don't eat it. So all you've in got one two place. range spells or attacks. Yeah. Yeah. The gun, the most potent ranged spell. Yeah. <laughs> God's range spell. <laughs> the 38 revolver. <laughs> all right. Uh, cool. You. Was that? Get to go. Yeah. All right. Oh God, it's Mythos time. What? Oh. Yep. Right. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Somewhere above, someone dumps garbage out the window. The Mythos effects event. This Mythos event affects the investigator in an <laughs> alley or on the street with the lowest. Nobody's uh, in an alley or on the street. Correct. That's not supernatural. That's just somebody dumping trash. That's a no effect. I guess. Yeah. I guess the dock area no, doesn't count. Yeah. He's not yeah. in an alley or street. You're right. The Innsmouth mob moves two spaces towards the alley corner. Alley corner two. Oh, Wait, no, alley corner me. one or two? Alley corner two. two. So there. Oh, no. That's oh, it's mean. so interesting. They're just like patrolling, though. They're yeah. Not actually, they're not actually going towards anybody. Yeah. The locals' wet, unblinking eyes are ever watchful for the intruders. Each investigator who shared a space with the Innsmouth mob during this movement suffers one face down damage, becomes stunned, and moves to the Innsmouth mob space. So it sort of like sweeps you along. Uh, I want to point out, this has 84 health. All right. <laughs> Start shooting at him. Start it said, yeah, I mean, it said Holy don't bother moly, fighting yeah. it. All right, all right, all right. But what if we fought it? If it bleeds, we can kill it. Uh, the Innsmouth mob attacks the investigator in the space with the lowest there. There's no investigators in that space. The Innsmouth mob quiets a moment, putting their misshapen heads together. Then, <laughs> one of the numbers splits off at a jog, and the mob resumes its rambunctious patrol. Spawn a deep one hybrid in the Innsmouth mob space. Uh, uh, they're like, smart. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Just, Hold all right. on, we couldn't find it. This everybody is a, this everybody is a, hustle up. This isn't yeah. working. Come here, right, right, right. Right. Yeah. I got an idea. Greg. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Greg. This guy. You, you go long, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, the Deep One Hybrid moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. I guess it's Adam. One, yeah. two. Help! You, can you have back. a gun! You got a boogie, buddy. 
Can I shoot him? Um, yes. No investigators in this space. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range, so... So mm. Adam will have to do it on this one because it's within three, but not the mob because yeah. it's outside of three. Alright, Adam. What do I do? You'll find it's out. gonna tell you. Yeah. The hybrid's throat swells to a disgusting size before it lets root loose a horrifying screech. The noise rattles your teeth and twists your stomach. Suffer one horror, but your, uh, what is it? A will. Will negates. So make a will saving throw. So roll your three dice. And it's if you roll at least one. Sorry, it's for each, yeah, for each success, it negates it. Take one horror. Now you can use your yeah. clue if you want to do that. I don't but recommend that. No, it's, it's just one horror. It's not a big deal. There you go. It's face down, so you don't like it. Oh, you're right. Also, this guy is blood red. I, forgot, I did forget about that. Uh, all right, and that's everything. Shoot this guy with my gun. Yeah, probably. Do we want to? Do we want to start with Adam and the gun? Um, Adam and the gun. Well, really so much. I want to. I want to search more stuff. You're gonna take horror damage every time he can. You can see this. Because he's gonna keep running to you. So you're gonna go around the corner. He'll run around the corner at you. Yeah, I guess. All right. So you can what shoot. What are you guys gonna do? What's the What's the gun actually do? We're, we're gonna, gonna loot the room. What does the gun even I mean, do? How do we do the gun? It's a ranged attack. So if you can see him in range, which that dude is, mm -hmm. you can use it. And then what do the numbers mean? Though? That's, that's the the weapon damage. So usually when you're using, like for example, when I chucked my shovel, it was what you roll plus your weapon damage. Mm -hmm. What do I use to attack with? Like, how many dice do I roll? That's you don't I... know. It'll pick one of your random uh, combats. Yeah. It'll be like, you use your observation, or use agility, or it'll be like, it's always kind of random. Yeah, I'll you... shoot this dude. All right. I want to shoot him. I pull out my fucking gun. All right. I pull out my pistol. So if you check it on the app, he goes attack, and you're like, what do you attack it with? You're like, I attack a it fire with a firearm. Yeah. You do also have the spell thing. So, you quickly fire at the figure, welcoming any advantage you can get. Agility. Roll two additional dice if the monster is in your space. Which it is not. And the monster suffers damage equal to your test result. Agility. Oh, a success. So you get one. But do I add three with the... Uh, it doesn't say you do. No. Just, you just graze it. So now you have a second action. You can run away or you can try shooting it again. And it won't be the same roll. It might be the same roll. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I'll shoot it again. Yeah, all right. all right. You clasp the weapon tightly with both hands and ready yourself for the kick of the recoil. Slowly, purposefully, you squeeze the trigger. Uh, this is an agility one again. If you pass, your shot catches in the arm and it screams in pain and rage. The monster suffers damage equal to weapon's damage. There you go. So, but in this case, you have to hit at least two on your Yeah, you need two successes or nothing happens, I guess. That's the easiest two I've ever gotten. Whoa! 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 Nothing bad can ever happen to Adam Savadad. <laughs> so it takes three. It yeah. takes three damage. Yeah. Cool, man. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to get up on you next time. But yeah. uh, Okay. Anybody hear that? I don't know. <laughs> is yeah. he a gun? Yeah. Is Whatever. A gun. Let, let's loot this room. Do you mind if I take the ritual dagger? I don't actually have a weapon yet. Yeah, go for it. We should, be before we pick stuff up, uh, we should really look at that radio. Do you want to do that There's place? like a ton of stuff to look at in this room. I know. Yeah. I'm yeah. on team look at radio. <laughs> so, like, yeah, All right. So, are you going to look at radio? I can look at the radio and I can pick up the knife as my turn. Okay. And if you want if you want to run out and do stuff afterwards, you can do that. So, let's All start right. with the radio. The radio crackles with static. Then you hear a voice. This is the captain of the Lively. I am currently moored in the bay by Innsmouth. Is anyone there? <gasps> um, can you pick us up? Craven, is that you? The captain must have been expecting someone else. Or the captain must have been expecting someone else. You tell him your situation. Not sure if I want to take on unknown passengers in the middle of the night. How do I know I can trust you? Uh, I assure you, I am extremely trustworthy. Three successes. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh I'm supposed to pick up Agent Craven. I'll come pick you up, but you need to find Craven and bring him with you. After a short pause, he continues speaking. I cannot... Yeah. Oh, I hope... Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, after a short pause, he continues speaking. I cannot see through this fog. Light a lantern on the dock when you want me to pick you up. Ring the fog bell when you're ready for me to come home. All right. Light a lantern so on the dock. So, do we... Can you just do, keep... Do we get rid of this now? Oh, okay. So you can keep using that if you need. Oh, all right. Um, and then I'll use my other action to pick up the dagger. Okay. 
which is cool. So the Ritual Dagger adds one additional dice when casting a spell. I have that, and counts as a melee weapon. Cool. Hey, you so, can play this game by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. What if... You definitely can play this by yourself. Yeah, that's why. I think maybe like two players, maybe minimum. I don't know. Oh, what if, what if we just don't get Craven? What if we don't get Craven and shoot the guy with the boat and take the boat for ourselves? Yeah. I'm drunk on gun power. Uh, oh, you're right. Your horror is not face down. It says face down if it. it oh. It specifies face down if it is, but it just said take a horror. Oh. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Uh, sudden shock, gasping in surprise and fear. You clutch at your face, forgetting for a moment that you had a face. Oh. Holding only seconds before. Oh, drop two random items. Oh my god. Oh, resolve immediately. That's bad. So that could have just canceled. Well, the... we'll just Whatever. do it now. Okay. That's fine. So. You want like a different die? These are all items, right? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Surge, picking up stuff lets you pick up and trade all items in your space and or on you and or with other investigators in your space. Oh. Do you want me just to pick up that fire extinguisher while we're at it? Yeah, sure. And give it to... You know what? I'll take the fire extinguisher. Thanks. So, okay. So I dropped two things randomly? Yeah. Uh, do we have a D8? I guess go 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, I don't think we do. Yeah, we should we have D&D &D die somewhere here. We play so many D&Ds. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll just right. roll until roll on, Yeah, re roll on four and five. Or five and six. One. I dropped the book. Okay. okay. There goes our clues. He can, I mean, he can pick them both back up. Yeah. No, not the journal. Three. I okay, now it's the journal. Uh oh. Alright, so we don't have any evidence. I mean, yeah, it's not it's not lost. You can just pick it up. Um Okay, so you did your things then. So it's still uh, Graham and I still have things to do. Yeah. Um, I wonder if we could run around the corner and try and rescue him. I mean, we should try and help Adam. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, go yes. for it. Just mute your mic. Right. I mean, yeah, I can just start. If you don't have to whisper if you're wearing a microphone. <laughs> I can start hauling, hauling ass towards him. Mm. Yeah. There, there is also one, two, still things still to investigate. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff to do. Yeah. So yeah, here, I'll move this. I'll move this way. One, two, three. Yep. I'm gonna look at that. This is right. a free action. Yeah. Well, it's like, if somebody dies, we basically lose in a turn, so it's... Uh, all right. At the end of the beach, there is a wooden dock. Oh, Oof. the dock, we need that. The back of the building overlooks the sea. On the eastern side of the building, a long dock stretches out into the bay. Place the rental dock and the dock two tiles as indicated and discard all explorer and site tokens leading to the area. So the rental dock, sorry, is yeah. like... This. Ooh, we'll get rid of the explorer there. And dock two comes off of here. Yeah. Like, I can't so tell. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, like this, yes. Yeah. Um, so that's where we need to light the lamp for the guy. A number of rowboats are stacked on the dock. Cool. Uh, a small boat rental stand uh, sends on the dock, but it looks to be closed for the night. Uh, at the end of the dock, an unlit lantern mm. uh, hangs on, on one of the supports. That's relevant. Okay, there you go. Cool. Uh, then... I guess technically you can't do anything. I guess not, so I guess I just move again. Do you want to go, t like, maybe get in position to, like, talk to, like, the boy? Or That's not the... a bad idea, actually, yeah. Not protect Adam? Because Adam's going to potentially get hit by multiple things next turn. And if he dies, we the, lose. Uh, if he doesn't move from this spot, I don't think... Wait, one, two, three... Oh, you will to go horror. The mob won't get to him. But the dude will. But last time, if the mob moved towards him, they got two moves outside of it. So he could potentially get attacked by two fish people. If they repeat the same turn as last time. But it could be that this just goes back and forth out here and we don't care. I guess Adam shouldn't have left on his own, then. Worth noting, though, that if Adam dies, we lose. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, really? Yeah, you get one turn. If a player dies, you get one turn to solve the mystery, and then everybody loses. So it might be it might be worth our I mean, attention. Me being there isn't going to do anything. But you will be able to help next turn. Hmm. Choices. Like, Graham was like, I am 100% okay with sacrificing him. No, we all lose. Oh, well, then, okay. <laughs> 
Uh, Adam would do the same if it was me. Yeah. Yep. I mean, we can leave Adam. We can just I, be like, I agree that going to Adam is pointless. That going to Adam is pointless. Yes. Well, because it uh, doesn't. He just gets there and takes damage. I just, I just have to, I just have to take horror checks. Yeah, it's tough. It's like setting up the next turn to help him, because if he, if he runs next turn, I guess we want to start thinking two turns in advance for Adam. The other tricky thing is all of, a lot of the evidence has fallen, so we yeah. need to go back and pick that up at some point. So he can pick it up and. and I mean, run. we can fucking Benny Hall around this thing. For yeah. A while. Yeah. I don't know if he can pick it up and run it. If he, if the enemies get on top of him, then it's an attack of opportunity. Right. So that's what I'm a legally distinct attack of opportunity. That's what I'm really worried about, though, is if Adam gets bogged down in combat and the mob keeps adding to it, I don't know how he gets out of it if we don't if we're not there to help him. But what does hit uh, us being there to help him do? Because then we're, yeah, we're it's just not, multiple people. It's not a help, is what I'm saying. Me being there doesn't help this turn, but it might next turn. No, but so okay. So what what we're saying is. This, these guys keep getting closer. Mm -hmm. So instead, there's just more of us taking more damage. Because we're never killing this. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So all we can do is Adam, unfortunately, is going to probably get beat up a bunch, but then spend his next turn getting out of there. Him being there does not influence Adam having a better chance of leaving. Yeah. Because anyone who's there has to resolve the horror attack. Sure. All right. Like, he doesn't give him more dice. He doesn't do any of that stuff. Well, yes, but the turn after... the. the the only thought there is the turn after two people killing one enemy mob works better. It took three of us to kill one. Sure. Yeah. So, it's, but instead of killing them, you just run away. Yeah. Is the is the the, the idea? I'm over yeah. here in alley one. Okay. Cool. Sorry, I didn't mean to move the thingy. What you um, doing, Ben? I'm like I'm gonna. Hmm. I blocked it, and now that's the way we want to go. Funny <laughs> enough, uh, I'm gonna actually go to the bathroom and try and read the manuscript. I've got four observation. All right. Um, the, yeah. You mean the newspaper? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Whatever it is, the Tribune, I guess. Yeah. Ben got or Ben Graham got one success last time, so I think you need two in order to get any information out of the newspaper. Well, it just so happens that I'm swimming in clues. My yeah. that is also it. true. Uh, two. Was that right. and, and no way to change it? So was was that what you got last time? You got one last time. Are we all good yet? Uh, yeah. Nope. No. But we were so we, we were we were deliberating on if you might die, or if we I need die. to come help you. Oh, no, um, I got a gun. Yeah, worth noting if you die. Nobody's we all ever lose. died when they were holding a gun. All right, I agree. That's true. <laughs> In the history of horror movies ever, the person with a gun is invincible. <laughs> yeah. Buried on page eight, you find an article about the Marsh family and their sudden inexplicable wealth. Gain the circumstantial evidence, unique item, and one clue. Then just I've got so many clues. Circumstantial yeah. evidence, unique clue. Yeah. I did four damage to the thing. There you go. So Thank now you. you have three things. Yep. Well, we dropped a bunch of them. Yeah, well, basically yeah, the, the determination, the, the determination, Adam, was that if I come over there, because I came out this way. Oh yeah. And then I went this way to try and talk to who we presume is Agent Craven. If uh, if I come over that way, it doesn't actually help you, and it just means I also take horror checks. Yeah. yeah that's so. Look, I made my bed, Graham. I'm willing to sleep. It, exactly, and I said you. <laughs> but do the, the problem same is, is, if you die, we all lose. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one, oh, but I didn't know that done. when I went off There myself. was nothing you could have done. We thought it was going to go this way through the barricade, and it was like, just kidding, we're going to come get you. If I knew that, I wouldn't have gone off by myself. I knew if I die, we all lose. I'm yeah. like, I can't it's put a, that kind of pressure on. It's my, a cooperative A game. turn later. Yeah. It, it's not immediate. Oh. Okay. That's wild. Well. Uh, all right, so I've done my thing. I moved, and I well did done. the thing. Okay. All right, mythos time. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. A senseless shatter ri uh, rises, filling not just the air, but Rita Young's mind. What? Rita Young suffers two horror, but uh, your your will plus one negates it. So you automatically negate one, right? No, 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 no. So it's one, 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 one dice. One dice. One dice roll. Which that was the thing. Yeah, that my will is five. Ooh, I roll two. Hooray! Oh, you uh, resist no. it. Yeah. The Ensmith Maw moves two spaces towards the Alley 2. They drag with them anyone they can get their sticky hands on. So they so move. So Alley 2 is to here. Yep. So they're now in the same square as that guy. Yeah. Um, oh, that, none of that happens. Uh, no investigators in the space. The Deep One moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. Yeah. And it attacks the person with the highest thing, which in this case is Adam, because there's no one else there. A dull clanking sound heralds a new weapon. A length of slimy chain. 
Bros. The hybrid attacks with slong with law with his with slong sweeps. <laughs> Long weeps. Long weeps. <laughs> Clattering and chiming with each motion. <laughs> suffer two damage, agility negates. Uh -oh. You suffer from weeping schlong. You have to do please, a lot of agility. Tests. Please talk to a doctor. Yeah. Uh, one success. All right, so you take one so you damage. take one damage. Okay, nice. I'm glad that the mob didn't. Do I look at it yeah. or oh. didn't spawn another thingy. Only a flesh wound, resolve immediately, no additional effect, put this card face down. All right. Cool. Um, did the the shock say that you needed to flip it back face down after? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Each investigator must also make a horror check. So in your case, you have line of sight on two, so to go with the higher of the two horrors. Right, yeah, so... In this case, it is definitely the mob. Uh, the mob hoists an effigy on high, and then another, and another. The pit of your stomach falls out as you realize these effigies are crude renditions of you and your family. How? Wow. wow. Uh, suffer too horror, but will negates. That's that's the, awfully specific. Yeah. The mob has done its research. They've been up on my Wikipedia page. Remember that time? All right, so you take one horror. One of the mob like went back home and looked you up. No additional effect. Flip this card face down. All right. Uh, sorry. Ah, your heart races and your breath catches in your throat. Ah, my family. Oh God. Uh, weird. And then everyone yeah, else says so it. <laughs> oh, I'm that sorry. Was just ben, like my wife. When I was doing the uh, exchange items, do you want the whiskey so you can drink away some of I your? I would have liked the whiskey. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll Thank you for the. I'll hook you up with that. We're we're going back in time, and I'm passing the whiskey to cool. Ben. Who have some whiskey? Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right, it is our turn. Hooray! May, may I? Yep. Find out if this is actually the person we want to talk sure. to. Sure. Do you want to stop and talk to the child on the way? I assume you can... that's a whole action. Well, as you go, by... no, can't you click on them to get a description, but without chatting? Yeah. Each investigator must resolve a horror check. Wait. Oh, I'm not back in that. Sorry. There we go. Ah, I was like, what? You're just assuming the old person is is Craven? It could be the child, but then it know. could be the truth. A young boy, yeah, so it would be. A young uh, boy peers into the alley from the side door. He seems to be curious about what all the commotion's about. Screw I think go boy. for go, go for the old man. Go yeah, for your guts. One, two, three. The old man is passed out drunk against a trash can. He has a silver key hanging Ooh. from a ring on his belt. Huh. Slap him. Ah. <sighs> He might be the person we need to get the boat out of here. Or maybe Craven is like locked in the room there. Aggression has worked out for us every other. Craven could be locked in the room beside us. That's true. This could not be Craven. This could be the innkeeper, and we just need the key. Oh. So, so either he's Craven, he's asleep, or the child is Craven, or Craven is in one of <laughs> one of these three silver rooms. Silver key, you say? Yeah. Where there's a silver door, there must be. Silver key. I mean, I guess I'm just going to solve this problem the same way I've solved every other problem this we game. The door you slap him. Yeah. Key, there must be a silver door. You strike the man across the face, and he wakes up with a shocked look on his face. What the hell was that for? Yeah, wow. That key. Alcohol's illegal. You try to convince the old man to let you borrow his key for a few minutes. <laughs> for a few Ooh, minutes. Uh, after you slap him, he's like, "All right, let's have a conversation here." I do not have here. good influence, unfortunately. You've got two. Yeah. Well, that's one success. Do you um, wanna... Uh, Might be worth it. Yeah. It's two successes. Wow. Great roll. Now, yeah. Now, this is the clue. No, thing I this here is my key. Oh, Damn it. You God. can't have it. That That's it? That was, that was your turn. Mm. All right. It looks like I assume. Should've, should've the man glares at you drunkenly as you're probably. What do you want? So that would be. You can bad. no longer steal his key. Someone else is awake. Someone else is going to have to. I'll talk, I guess I'll talk to the kid next turn. Someone else is going to have to take this key. Uh, all right. Who, who's good at convincing? My gun. Do so, I want to look in here? <laughs> can you convince him? It's That's 38 the dice. To there you have to go all I the way I guess we should let Adam figure out his conundrum. Right? I shoot this thing. Oh, yeah, you, that, there was one where you got, sometimes you get better score if you're in the same square. Yeah. All right, you shoot him. You only have to hit him with two. You empty your weapon at the figure's center of mass, agility. If you pass several shots, catch your foe in the chest, and it staggers backwards, the monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage, then the monster moves one space from you. Oh. If you fail, your target twists aside at the last moment. So, if you win, he's dead. Agility. 
You gotta beat two. I have to roll two. You only have two dice? Yeah. Oh god. I only have two agility, dude. I don't I'm a should... butler! I don't think you should have this gun. Mm, well, I have five agility. You I know should what? have the gun. Maybe you should look at more food. <laughs> Maybe you should search more crates. Sick. You got one, so you fail. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, he twists aside, so you failed. Cool. I try to shoot him again. All right. I have to win this or I'm dead. Can you, do you have a different weapon on you? No. You can spell. You can just you have punch a spell. him. You can oh, punch or him. you have a spell. Well, so I'm using the weapon that requires you to use your weakest stat. Oh, yeah. well, I know you've got a cool gun. There's unarmed attack as well. Or yeah. there's this, I don't know what the spell does, but maybe it's uh, cool. I cast Shriveling. What does it do? Speaking the arcane words, do I look at the background? No, 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 no. not yet. Speaking the arcane words, uh, cause boils and burns to appear on your appear on your enemy's flesh. All right, so you cast a spell. You begin, you mouth the words of the incantation, and motes of light begin to appear on your body. Soon, every pore radiates a blinding purple light, and you struggle to maintain control of the power, fighting to escape. Will two. If you pass, the light dims, bending to your will. And with a flick of your wrist, Eldritch Energy blasts towards your foe. The monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage, plus your test result. And that's a will? Yeah. Do you have a bonus you fail? to the will or something? What nope. was the one you had the bonus to? I failed again. Oh, lore, you have bonus to. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, that's awkward. Rough. Flip the spell. Flip the spell now. Your enemy's flesh ripples and peels open. The monster suffers one additional damage and then suffer one face down horror. Oh, that so you still deal damage to it. So one additional? So I guess you do the base plus one? I think he does two damage here. Why is that? Because it says additional damage. So that, that implies that there's a base amount of damage. I did zero. Yes. He does zero plus one? Because he did zero damage. Oh my god. And the, right. the attack did zero damage. All right. So the thing takes one damage. Okay. Still alive. I suffer a horror. Yeah, it's good. Face Die. down. Face down, though, yeah? Does it say face yeah. down? Face okay. down. Nice. Okay. Nice. Where does the spell go? Uh, In a discard pile. Yeah. Yeah. But you still have access to this. Next time you cast it, you use the next one in the pile. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, oh. Hmm. Good run, everybody. We need to save Adam. You don't have any ranged attack, Grim, do you? No. I can't. I can't even get to him. Like, there's literally nothing we can do. Well, it's just gonna, like, Graham could get into line of sight if he had a ranged thing. Yeah, because yeah, cool you don't have a ranged attack. attack. Okay. I do not. Yeah. Mm. Well, you want to look in here? Uh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, you can go in the rental shack. I'm afraid if I open this, he, the, the, they get on in or something. I don't know. Well, it seems like they maybe are just going to patrol this area. Um, yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a ranged. Adam's got both of the ranged attacks, mm -hmm. and, he, and he wanted to fight him head on. So thought says, when you've done the spell, shuffle it, and there's a chance it could be one of the five copies again. Oh, interesting. Right. Interesting. So all of us have yet to go. Nobody has a ranged spell. Uh, no, I've gone this turn. Right, you talked to the dude, so yeah, just Adam just, and, or Surgeon Eye. Yeah. I'm gonna... Hmm. I don't wanna move there, I guess, cause like... Yeah, who's got the best influence? You look in the rental shack? Yeah. Adam. Who is currently occupied. Occupado. Yeah, the butler's trying to kung fu. I mean, you don't even have that much damage. Like, you're fine. That's not the thing you missed. Oh. The other one. All right. So I'm going to go to the rental shack. The front door to the boat rental was once painted a happy blue and now is cracking and peeling to reveal a gray wood underneath. I explore. Someone has left the light on the inside of the boat rental. You spot the rental logbook open on the table in the middle of the room. Place a search token. You may move one space into the explored area. And we're now in the hut. Because that's technically another area. Yeah. Uh, oh. We miscounted. Mm -hmm. right. This is a, this shack is an, is an, is. Is it an area? I yeah. thought this just like this. Uh, I th isn't that how that works? Isn't that what the walls mean? I don't think so. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine. Because, like, the Snack Shack has a has a semi-permeable... Right. Like, a window, right? Yeah, it is a separate space. Oh, so huh. I wouldn't have been able to do that. Well, well I, I wouldn't have been able to do that either, so we're just going to... Whatever. And yeah. carry on, yeah. Now we know. Uh, all right, Serge. So this counts as an additional movement? Yes. Yeah. It's not... Okay. Cool. You're going to take horror. It's fine. I'm going to go save Adam. Okay. He's not, he, he's not necessarily. Oh, he might. Okay, that's fine. All right. All right. Let's do uh, it. Mythos time. I'm so afraid. Someone did not put the manhole cover back. The mythos affects an investigator in an alley or street with the lowest. Uh, well, I mean, it's that's you. That's Graham. <laughs> All this is happening, and you just go like, whoop, down your manhole. You are not looking where you're walking, oh, and on. you step into an uncovered manhole. <laughs> Suffer two damage, but agility plus one negates. It's a Buster I, Keaton movie? Come on. Yeah, if, again, If this it is, were me, I simply is, would just not, avoid the open hole. Oh, this is not terrible. You suffer, so, so you suffer two damage, but then you're going to flip two damage face up. But uh, technically, you have none. So if you if you negate it all, you'll be okay. All right. Wait, um, why am I rolling this? What is agility? Four, okay. A four plus, plus one. one. Oh. Let's see it. Hush. Nailed it. Yeah, you're good. Dang. So, uh, well, I, I I do take two face up though. So it's su- it's suffer two damage. Agility negates. But then, then says, oh, then flip them up. Right. I don't have any. Ha ha. Yeah. Right. That's how that mechanic works. Great. Everything's fine. Cool. Stupid manhole. Uh, the riding townsfolk beat the walls of the buildings with boards and bottles. The sound of shattering glass pierces the fog and reverberates through the walls of the hotel. Darkness overtakes the hallway yeah, or the alleyway. As the lights are smashed, place darkness in each space. In the alley two. Or I guess it's these. Then each investigator suffers one face down horror. Just everybody yeah. from that noise gets a horror? Okay. Yep. That, makes, Dang. that makes sense. Horror for you, horror for me. Everybody gets a horror. All right. Don't like it. Um. The Innsmouth mob moves two spaces towards the pier. Anyone who is uh, oh in their boy. path is swept along by the tide of bodies. Mm-hmm. Each investigator who shared a space with the Innsmouth mob during this movement suffers one damage. So you are not, you weren't during, mo- you weren't like swept in it. Yeah. You didn't share a space during the movement, mm-hmm. I guess. Let's find out what the next thing says. Uh, well, because it would say if you did, you would suffer one face down damage. Become now it stunned. Just, now it attacks. Probably. It wasn't like along the way, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't dragged. Innsmouth mob attacks the investigator in its space with the lowest uh, will. All right. A member of the riot throws his arm over your shoulder. He invites you to join them. Oh, sick. <laughs> yeah. His casual demeanor veils the threat should you refuse. Influence. All right. If you wow, pass, actually... you join them for a moment before slipping away. Yes. Oh. Okay. So that's interesting. It's just like it's not like you're gonna die. Like you. Come on, baby. Well, come on. Come I'm on. an influencer for a living. Come on. Three success. Yo! Right. You right. join them for a moment before slipping away, and the monster moves one space away. You, you, and, you and the monster move one space away from the intimate mob. If you fail, the mob turns on you. Okay, so you, so. Does that mean that we've spawned another monster? You and the monster move one step away from it. So I guess Adam so, moves one, the monster moves another one, and then the mob stays where it is? Hickman? That's a typo. Oh. So it's thought. I'm going to believe them. All right. Which um, way do you want to move away from it, Adam? If you fail, the, yeah. Adam moves one. OK. So you, you, there you go. I'm out. You're out. So that's, that's, that's we actually... lost those items, though. Sorry, friends. The deep one moves two. Sp- I mean, we can maybe loop around. The deep one moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. And attacks the investigator with the highest agility. That's Shockingly, me. Adam. <laughs> uh, grunting and croaking, the creature heaves an enormous barrel above its head and dumps a torrent of seawater, dead fish, and razor sharp shells upon you. Mm. Suffer two damage, but strength plus one negates. So you got four. Okay. It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess you could move away, but. Uh, what do I need? Two. Two? I might actually. Investigate. You've got, you've got one. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. But you've only got, you. Okay, okay so it's, yeah, so wait, it's suffer. So you only suffer one damage, right? No. So again, the plus one is one dice. It's not an actual number. Yeah. So if you've got one, you would take. Did you roll all these? No, I switched this. 
Oh, okay, so, but I don't think you need to switch it because you've. You would take one. Yeah, you're only taking one damage here. Oh, okay. You can take up to eight before you die. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's take one damage. Uh, okay. So you take one damage. Bloop. Thanks. Uh, only a flesh wound. Nice. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Um, all right. Each investigator must resolve their horror checks. So, Serge, you caught up. You you showed up just in time to take horror. Yep. I'm here to help Adam. Okay. So, Adam takes one from the mob because it's the biggest one in range. Mm -hmm. Yes. But Serge only takes one, one from two, this. three. So this Serge is one. also the mob. Oh, okay. All right. So, so both of you are going to take the same horror check. Sure. The crowd calls your name, and then a litany of what unspeakable profanity they intend to visit upon your person. Uh, Will, uh, and you got to pass a two. If you pass, you remind yourself that they have to catch you first. If you fail, you cannot stop dwelling on the more colorful ent entries on that list. And so wow. too horror. So, Adam, why don't you do yours first? Will? Will, if you, Will. If you succeed, you successfully ban them from Twitch chat. One. All right. So now you might want to cash that clue in. Yeah, I'm gonna catch it. Because otherwise you're suffering two horror. Yeah. Taking you up to, oh, Great. taking you up to six. Yeah, two horror would be very bad for Adam. <laughs> yes, he would go insane. Uh, not die, you just might have an alternate win con now. Mm. Do not like. One big money. Two! I'm Great. completely fine. Uh, all right, see? Everything's fine. Back to oh, our turn. Boy. So, Adam, yep. what I'm hoping you can do is kill the thing that's on you, and then we can run away together. Like, from a mob, or like, romantic? Run away... Yeah. Why not both? Uh, okay, I try to uh, cast a spell, I guess. Mm -hmm. On this guy. Shriveling. Shriveling, please. So, okay. Because uh, there's, it's tough to get away from somebody, right? So yeah. if you can just kill him, it's probably yeah. better. All you have to do is one point of damage. That's all I gotta do. <laughs> You try to sound your way through the alien words. This is going to be a lore check. Sick. Oh, you dropped the thing that gave you better lore. Right? Yeah. If you pass, you are struck with a sudden and blasphemous understanding and no longer mimic sounds, but shout the invocation with keen purpose. The monster suffers damage equal to your test result plus one. One, two successes. Nope. One, one success. Okay. Um... I guess I gotta try again. All right. Well, you gotta flip the spell first. We'll see what happens. Do you, one, might, you might do one damage anyways. <gasps> oh, what happened? Uh, as you lower your hand, you Stop see. Stop for a second, Adam. Oh. Just a brief little whoopsie, and then we're, we're, good? we're fine. Okay. Right. Cool. Oh. All right, go. As you it. lower your hand, you see a putrid sore on your palm. Suffer one face down damage. Oh. What? Mm. Uh, oh my god. Uh, cool. Uh, I try to cast a spell again. Oh my god. <laughs> what about just, like, punching him? Like, you're good at physical, right? I mean, I'm but good at not casting always... spells, too. Oh. Yeah. I'm way better at casting spells. He's just been having some bad rolls. I want to cast a spell again. I gotta kill this thing. And then try to get away from the mob. You press your palms together and tightly whisper over them the arcane words. You gotta make a lore check. Okay. Literally, I think, if you succeed, you... There's no way he doesn't die. He has one health. It's a lore check? the spell. Alright. Come on, one damage, one damage, one damage. Come on. Spell works exactly as you expect, aside from all the blood. No additional effect. Okay, so nothing happens. So nothing happens. Okay. Surge? I'm gonna go save Adam. Sure, you said that. That was your plan. Alright. Okay, so you move and you make an attack on I'm him? I'm going to fight it with a bladed weapon. You lunge for, toward your foe with a brutal stab. If you pass, your weapon digs deep into the figure's stomach and you kick your foe backwards off the blade. Jesus Christ, Serge. The monster suffers damage equal to your weapons and, and it also moves the person back, but I mean, they're gonna die if you succeed anyway. <laughs> Neither of us have clues. Nope. Come on. One success. I fail. Yep. He's still there. <laughs> 
This guy is taking uh, a lot of. Well, actually, no, he hasn't taken a lot of punishment. Here and talk to this child. All right. Come help us. The, young, the mob's coming this way. <laughs> a young boy peers into the alley from a side door. He seems to be curious about what all the commotion is about. You ask the boy for help. In what? Okay. Little boy, how do you feel about taking on a mob of 84 people be, on your own? I shouldn't be talking. We are doing the wrong jobs. One. The boy shakes his head and slams the door. Discard this person. <laughs> Great. Okay. And I do one more sp space. Hmm. Good, good turn, hmm. Ben. We can maybe use an action, Ben, and switch our Adam and switch our stuff around. You give me the gun. I'll give you this knife or something. Yeah, sure. Um. Yeah, I'm afraid of the mob right now. It's gonna come through here. Uh, so while I'm chilling up in here, I'm gonna drink this whiskey. Uh, discard two face down horror and flip this, and now I've also got this bladed weapon. Okay. Good old empty whiskey bottle. There. Okay. Uh, and then my other action will be investigating what's in that little thing. I assume the mob actually doesn't even interact with you in there. It looks like it'd probably just go by. Maybe, yeah. The logbook is full of neat handwritten notes concerning who rented which boat and when. Oh, fun. You search through the logbook looking for anything on the Marsh family. Uh, observation is four. Art High Dymo, I think the I think the message is that the whiskey makes you forget. Yeah. <laughs> not, that it, not that it heals your mental well-being. One, but you've got you have all it the turned clues. three clues up. So, uh, I don't know. What do you think? Three is probably good. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Two and three seems to be an interesting threshold for success as the game wants. As you page through the book, you find entries. Uh, you find entries every single week showing a member of the Marsh family taking a boat out to the Devil's Reef. Ooh. Each entry has an annotation detailing strange and exotic treasures brought back on the return journey. Gain the incriminating evidence unique item and one clue. Yeah, so many clues. Uh, then discard the search. Uh, Serge, you've got all the items in front of you. If you don't mind. What you need? The incriminating evidence. Uh, I think there's only one of those and you already have it. Oh, no, there's more than one. Oh, the other one you have, I have to be circumstantial. Yeah, circumstantial evidence. But right, I have incriminating. Right, right. Ooh. This evidence is circumstantial. Uh, that's it. All right. Come on, Adam. We need to beat this success and kill it on its own turn. The stress of this investigation is mounting beyond common tolerance. The mythos affects the player who has the lowest will. I've got four. Three. Three. Four. So it's a tie between Adam and I. <laughs> Yeah. So we both get it. No, I thought it was like, doesn't one person choose who takes it? Uh, if that's the case, I'll take it because I have way less, w way less wounds than that. Probably be uh, probably the best kind of scenario. All right, mm -hmm. hit me up with it. Um, your mind is unbalanced and a fit of mania overtakes you. Strength two. If you pass, your hysterical laughter is barely contained behind tightly clamped lips. Suffer one face down horror. If you fail. You violent, your violent laughter leads to gripping your torso tightly and rocking to and fro, and you suffer one damage and become restrained. Ready for this? Whoa. One success. Do you have any clues? Nope. We need to we need to investigate to get some more clues going. Now, good well, news. Well, that's what that's I what we're doing. <laughs> cannot be restrained. Oh. Well, there you go. Oh, sick. So it's a face down wound. Mm -hmm. Suffer no. Suffer one damage. Yeah. So whoop. Only a flesh wound. All right. Nice. The Innsmouth mob moves two spaces towards the beach. Oh, no. They drag with them anyone who All right, we're there. being dragged. So okay. it drags players. Uh, well, the yep. mob will move into us, too. All right, we've become dragged. So you each take one face down damage and become stunned. Hell yeah. Which you cannot be either. I right? also can't be stunned. Aha! Uh -huh. He Adam cannot be restrained. Stunned. He cannot be stunned. You get a damage. You get a damage. And he will never stop. And Adam, you also become stunned. Which uh, says you cannot perform more than a single action during your Adam's turn. Adam's really getting beat up over there. Yeah, yeah. How long is this last for? for one Until you end your turn. For a yeah. turn, yeah. Uh, then it attacks whoever has suffered the least damage, Surge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who has suffered the least damage, step forward. Not so fast, Adam. <laughs> Someone in the right. Not you. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank taking you. the most uh, damage, not you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is all your fault, uh, says someone as they no, play the riot. Uh, you gotta do an influence. If you pass, you manage to convince the mob that you are not the one they're looking for. If you I, fail, the angry mob rushes after you and I you take you three damage. You, I love that you fight the mob with influence. Two! Yep. 
<laughs> it's not me, it's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the person you keep punching. Uh, all right. So these two come up on in here. Or that guy. Yeah, yeah. this dude. Uh, there's a party on that space. Uh, whoever's taking the least damage, nope, search. that's the opposite. Read it again. Who has suffered the most damage, Adam. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -oh. The hybrid turns to you and fixes at you with a revolting gaze. You keep trying to kill me, but I only grow stronger. <laughs> oh no. Uh, blinking with impossible membranous, membranous lids. Uh, oh. Will too. Membranous. If you pass, you remain unmoved by the display. If you fail, you suffer one damage. He's literally attacking you by blinking. All right. So suffer a damage. Okay. Here. Yeah. You gotta read it. Oh. Uh, you hear your bones break with a sickening crunch. Your leg will not bear <laughs> even the smallest weight. Keep face up. If you move more than a single space as part of a move action, flip one damage face up. You oh. broke your leg by blinking at you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy moly! So, I'll, I'll, I'll try and heal you once we get away from the blob. Each investigator must make a horror check. Uh, so I, so do I? Yeah. I think you're safe. Well, no, we didn't call that a different zone. It's oh, through right. a door. Oh right, it's blocked by a door. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so all right, both of you guys, uh, horror on the mob. One by one, the crowd drags out one of their number and giggling, giggling murders their former ally while you watch. Suffer three horror. Will plus one negates. It'd be interesting if there was suddenly damage on them. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so dead. Dude. Next time we check them, they have like 80 hit points. Will or plus something. one negates? Yeah. Oh, sorry, here. Two? Uh, so one. you take one horror. Okay. Good, good. You're not insane. Well. Oh, keep face up. Sure. Cool. Uh, you cannot seem to put the letters or numbers in their proper order. You know you had the skill once, but it has deserted you. Roll one fewer die while resolving a lore check. No, it's will plus one. Uh, Bummer. That's <laughs> that's pretty stinky. Oh boy. Yeah. I have three successes. Jeez. Then you're good. Uh, and then the rest of us are fine. In the mythos phase. All right, boys. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? So, what are the rules for attack of opportunity? Uh, so basically what happens please is, help us. is if you try to run away, you press this evade and it's going to ask you to do some sort of check. Okay. Now, if I don't try and run away, if I try and take Adam's gun, does that also provoke an attack of opportunity? Um, let me just see here. Can I be like, I can't run, my leg's broken, I can only move one square. <laughs> Where am I going to move? I mean, you can, you can still move to, you just take a damage to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but you guys can hide in the shack. Just a little... Actually, Adam if you, can't. Because it's two movements, one and one. Adam can only move one. It, sorry, again. He can move two. Yeah. Oh, right. That just it just takes a damage. damage. So, the mob, we assume, can't follow you into the shack. This guy could. Mm. So... Worth noting, he's if, not necessarily taking the damage. He's flipping one face up, and it could mean nothing. Okay, so you, Surge, if you kill this dude, yeah. and then go hide in the shack... Then Adam can hide in the shack, and then the mob just goes on by. Is what we figure will happen. Yeah, the duty, the the duty, the, the big boy might. The the frustrating thing here though is if I don't take the gun from Adam, we have the worst possible combat skills stuck in combat. So if I don't spend an action to get the gun from him, then there's a chance that I'll use my action to try and kill it, and we won't even die. So I think I think I have to potentially set myself up to kill the thing so Adam can escape. And I get dragged along with yeah. the mob for a turn, and then I can get out later. But I like so evade checks have to happen if you try to move out of the space or perform any action other than attack. Now, if there are multiple enemies in an area, do both hit me, or does only one hit me with the, the evade? The investigator check? must evade only the monster with the highest awareness. Okay, so that'll probably it's be the mob. One. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, all right. Here's what we're gonna do. I, I still think the best the best possible turn right now is for me to use an action to get the gun. Uh, we can swap whatever what we want back and forth at the time. I can actually give you flesh wards so you can start healing yourself mm -hmm. after this is done. We can just put you in the cottage because we can exchange the spell and the gun. And... You can exchange spells? Yes, spells or items. That was one of the notes that thought, uh, okay. thought, 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 mm -hmm. uh, hooked up in, in stuff there. Uh, the only difference with the spell is you can't drop it, but you can exchange it. 
So I can give you that and the ritual dagger, which will give you a bonus for your spell rolls. So I can only take one action per turn. Yes, so but fair. eventually that'll I think that'll set you up for that, turns after that. That will provoke though, I Yes, and I will get punched for that, and that's fine. What? what for well, so, I'm saying that I can't get in here. I can only take one action this turn. What's the problem? I'm stunned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can. How you can, can. You can move. You can. Your one action. You aren't I here? I'm on this square. Yeah. yeah. And this is one two. Your one action can yeah. be move, and you uh, have okay. to take an extra damage, but you can yeah. boop, after this after okay. this happens. Why? Why trade? Because. Uh, both of our combat skills suck, and there's a chance if I do go to attack, it'll fail. Whereas if I have the gun, which is an agility weapon, I have agility five. So are you gonna move? Are you gonna trade and move? No, I'm gonna trade and shoot. Because then, if Adam can get away from the mob, that won't follow him into the room and try and kill him. Okay, you're gonna get dragged by the mob. Then. That's fine. I'm willing to take a turn of damage to save Adam. Okay. Because Adam, Adam is going to die. I've only been punched once. Sure. All right. So first things first. I I. I say I want to trade atoms. I trigger the evade. Sure. I think uh, I think this right, is sorry. It's not. It's on this one. I think that's the best turn we have right here because rough hands grab you and drag you into the air, where you are carried along by the many hands of the crowd. If you uh, you have to make an agility and you have to pass three. Love it. If you pass, you manage to steer yourself to the edge of the mob and land on your feet. If you fail, you are carried into the heart of the mob, where lunacy and violence lunacy and violence reign and take two damage. I had a single clue, I would have passed. All right, I fail. Uh, I think you still get to do what you're going to do. You just take damage. Yeah, you just suffer two damage. Okay, pass me two wounds, please. So then Adam has this now, and you have the gun? Is that what happened? Yeah, and I I read these face up one at a time, or both at the same time? face up one at a time. Are you giving him the dagger, or just the... I'm going to give him the dagger and the spell. Okay, let's take a gun. And I'm going to take the gun. And watch this be like, drop your items or something like that. Only a flesh wound. Broken arm. You cannot feel your arm at all. You think it might be a bad sign. If you ever have to drop more than two items, drop all but two of your items. Okay? All right. Wow. That's surprisingly small effect for broken arm. All right. I use my good arm to shoot the fish person. Okay. <laughs> fish person. You drop to one knee, take aim, and fire. Agility. If you pass, your shot punches clear through the figure and impacts. It's going to die. It's dead. Right. Hey, wait, wait, just like, do you also hit the mob? No. No. Didn't it say another monster behind it? Did it? Did, did, we should have read all the text. Oh, well. I mean, mob takes damage. Go okay. for it. Do one damage to the mob. Why not? What's sure. It, what's it going to do? I guess. Well, hold on. Is it all that? Because the damage, it, the revolver is three, and I had two successes. So that'd be five? Uh-huh. It had pass through and hit. Hmm. Stream is freaking out again. So let's hold on a second there. Weird. I, I am not dropping frames. Huh. I wonder why our stream is having trouble tonight. So, Twitch. Yeah, so I, for I people Twitch. who saw that, how I much assume, damage I, are we actually doing? I think it was weapon damage plus your result. So that would be five damage to it then. Cool. I mean, I don't think it's going to be relevant to the mob, but why not track it? Um, yeah. What is the condition for your character to gain a clue, Ben? Uh, I think dying. So. That's it? You don't even have to be near it? Nope. Does it drop anything when it dies? Nope. All right. Adam, run. I'm out. So I don't have to try to evade one. No, there has, that to, was there has to be an evade check first to see oh, if he gets shoot. out. Well, he gets out. It's just this happens. Two members of the mob attempt to hold you down while another tries to kick you. <laughs> Agility. Oh. Uh, and if not, uh, you're going to suffer th- damage. You're going to suffer three damage if you don't pass an agility two. Did Ooh. I die? No, so you discard. So what happens is you become... Uh, uh, wounded, I believe it. What is the the the, the term? You have a broken leg. All right, buddy. Come on. How'd you do? Nope. Fail. All Fail. right. So Adam. Yep. Uh, I believe what happens now is you take all of the the ones you got, mm-hmm. and you're going to be discarding them. Um and oh, right, because we did this last time, and it was it was uh um it was uh whether or not. You do the things before you discard them, right? Because right. he gets the damage. He yeah. gets three damage here. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, five damage. and then you take three, right? So, but does he, does he resolve the damage cards? I, I or guess. Does it, and, and that was the thing. discards. Yeah. That, that, that's what I don't. I remember from last time that we didn't. I don't so you're know taking if we did three that. damage. Resolve so. the damage cards, then discard. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, demoralizing injury. You gag at the scent of your own blood. Resolve immediately. Suffer one additional face down horror. Oh, that's bad. That's six. Okay, so you all start going insane. Going, going insane. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, let's do the damage stuff first. Uh, broken arm. If you ever have two, more than two items, you drop all but two of your items. Okay. Well, I have more than two items. No, yeah. you, no you've only got two items. Spells aren't oh, items. Oh, spells aren't items? Okay. Demoralizing injury. Suffer one additional face down horror. I mean, none of that matters now. Not right. even the injury stuff matters. So now, either. discard all of your injuries. Yeah. Hey, my broken leg got Yeah, yeah, you, you, your broken leg and broken arm are fine. Okay. Like a Russian of adrenaline, I guess. I don't know. A wizard did it. So now you go insane. Okay, so first off, so you're wounded now, Adam. Uh-huh. Um, so you discard all your face down damage, and if an effect would uh, ask you to suffer damage in excess of your health, you suffer all that damage, right. Um, and oh, you don't, sorry, you only discard face down stuff. Oh, oh my God! So you keep the broken leg and the oh, broken okay. arm. Yeah, all wow. the face down damage. And when a wounded investigator has suffered damage equal to or exceeding your health the second time, then you're dead. Okay. Okay. But now you're also insane. <laughs> um, so first you got to do your. So it was a face down horror, right? So now you discard all the face down horror. Well, hold on. Yeah. Sure. So yeah, discard. Discard, so you've got two face up wounds. Yeah. So now you gotta discard all of your face down horror. Okay. Um, and uh, if an effect would cause you to suffer horror in excess of that, blah, 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 blah. Each insane condition has a required number of players, which is indicated in the bottom corner of the back of the card. When investigator gains an insane condition, if the players is less than required. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. I'm not reading them, I'm just literally looking at the number in the bottom right. Isn't it, just, isn't it just that he draws, and if it's not if it's not relevant, he just draws again? Oh, it's literally all of these. Never mind. Yeah, because they're all one plus or two plus. Yeah, okay. Cool. So now, Adam, you draw that, and it's got some hidden information for you. It could be a different win condition. It could be something you have to do. Who knows? But we don't know. All we know is that you're insane in the membrane. Um... And uh, you cannot reveal the back of your insane condition unless uh, unless an effect specifically tells you to do so. And if you uh, get it again, I believe you just take another. Oh, when an investigator has suffered horror equal to or exceeding their sanity, that investigator is eliminated the second time. Cool. Is chat username IB Plunderin a reference to our How to Talk Like a Pirate video from like? 14 years ago. That'd be sweet. Maybe. Plundering that booty. That's, that would be awesome. Uh, okay, so you took the damage. You still get to move. Do you take damage now again? Yes. Okay. Because of his broken leg. So what does broken leg do? Uh, if you move more than a single space as part of a move action, flip one damage. Oh, well, you have no face down no. damage. All right. Look at you, that. If you don't take any damage, you're immune to your broken leg. Oh, sick. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, so that is... His, I don't have to suffer horror because I'm not in range. Or no, that was, we that was the investigator horror. phase. I have not gone. You haven't gone. No, and I don't think like I, I have. You haven't done that. Discard face-up damage? I, think, yeah. I believe so, yeah. yeah. That's why I wanted to give you those spells so you can right. start curing yourself. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to go in that house? Yeah, or? I think I might hide in here from the mob. So we still got to get the keys and find the dude. <laughs> we need to get Adam yeah. to the to the old guy to convince him to give us the key. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine at convincing. Yeah. I've got three influence. Anyway, I want to look in here. I'm looking. I'm gonna look in the tower. Okay. This door leads to a tower that stretches high above the rest of the nearby buildings. It's oh. secured with a silver lock. This is the lock that the guy has. Hmm. So you didn't okay. use your action, fortunately. No. Well, that's not even. I thought that was the key to that room on the interior. Uh, okay. uh, we don't know what this room well, is. Well, then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go one, and then two, three, and hide with you in the shack. <laughs> one. Was this? All right. Um, a number of rowboats are stacked on the dock. You might be able to use one of them to reach the fishing boat in the bay. Oh right, that's the other option out of here. You. Attempt to push one of the boats into the water, but discover it is chained to the dock. You glance over at the rest of the boats and find them tethered as well. You will need to find a way to bring the fishing boat to you. Before turning your attention elsewhere, you decide to search the boats for anything of use. Ooh. 
one. You discover a ratty fishing net and rotting oar, but nothing else that you could think could help you. Cool. And that it oh, stays. It's still there? Okay. Yeah. Uh, two, I guess, well, yeah, I'll come into the shack. Or I could hide over, out here, but... Because we assume it's just going to sort of orbit. Well, it'll end here, and you would be in range of seeing it, right? Oh, yeah. So I'll stay, in, stay in the same side there. Hide in the shack. Mm -hmm. Okay, I go, ah! And I get out of the shack. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> hey, gonna... I thought it was David here! <laughs> I'm going to go... You're just going to try to out, outrun it? You, you can just do the zoomies. You can just do two moves. You can actions. do four and try and get there. Well, not this turn, but one, two, and then three, four. So presuming it goes the same course, it's going to end its turn here. Yeah. And then the next turn, it's going to end its turn here. And if you end here, which you will the turn after, you'll get a horror check. Mm -hmm. I'm actually okay, honestly. Um, you got any clues you can investigate? Anything you can do in there? No. Where? What? I was just wondering if you had... If like, you're holding is, something, like the journal. Is there anything you can do like while you're in there? Oh, no, so I've got journal. evidence. I've got this broken bottle. I got more evidence. I got a shovel, and I got my oil lamp. Yeah. Um, I think... <sighs> we go, like, one, two, three, four, and start checking out the oddities. But, again, what I think we actually want is to get in here. Or over here, even. Um, yeah, I think we need to get... I might actually, yeah, like hibbity hop back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Let's do a full move. All yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna get swept away by the mob. Sure are. Aha. Uh -huh. Wendy Adams' limbs are wrenched into impossible angles by an invisible force. You suffer four damage. Wow. Excuse me. Huh. Strength plus one. Okay, game. What did you do that for? I don't. Get plus one, yeah. I don't know. Uh, that would that would kill me the first time. Unless I got all successes, how'd I do? One. one. I take three. Yep. I die. Well, I, I die, air quotes, die. Okay, so let's oh resolve boy. these and see what happens. Holy crap. That, that's what you get for not having your limbs at the right angle. Yeah, it's just randomly. The answer is back yeah. spasms. You clutch at your back as your muscles revolt, forgetting your possessions for a moment. Drop one random item. Now hold on. Broken arm. If you ever have to drop, if you ever have more than two items, drop all but two of your items. No, no yeah, it's it, it's not about dropping items. It's the broken arm just says you can only carry two items. Oh. Yeah. So drop one random item. Okay. Uh, odd is magnifying glass. Even is gun. Even is gun. Goodbye, gun. <laughs> we worked so hard to get you. Okay, uh, back spasms, and you put it, then flip it face down. Great. Next up, twisted ankle. Cool. You fall, clutching your ankle and hissing in pain. <laughs> you are not certain you can stand. Become restrained, then discard this. Okay, can't be restrained. That's gone. So you might maybe survive. It, only if I can discard this. Yeah. Ruptured eardrum. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Why, yeah. Why'd you help Adam, man? After splitting pain and partial deafness, oh, so we wouldn't lose, and partial deafness, you find that your balance is Clearly. off, roll one fewer die in agility test. That was actually my good stat. Keep face up. So I have six wounds now, so I'm going to discard all the face down ones. I keep my broken arm and ruptured eardrum, and I've lost my gun, and I become wounded. Where's the gun? It's, I dropped it. Oh yeah, it's in that space. Yeah. Or, it would be in in the space, well, it, no, it's where I am. You're, you're here. That's Adam. That's Adam. No, this is Adam. Th oh, that's we, we moved the wrong way. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. Bad. Sorry, I knew where my character was. Yeah. We just, we just represented it poorly. All right. That's not something my character would do. <laughs> I think ruptured eardrum is what's happening to Twitch. I apologize for people who can't. Uh, a few members of the mob begin singing a horrid croaking melody, and in response, the sea begins to sing along. The in, in response, I sing along. <laughs> says the sea. <laughs> That's the voice of the sea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the inhuman no no notes echo through the alley and streets, insinuating themselves into the minds of all who hear it. Each investigator suffers two face down horror. Oh, good. Oh, my God. They sing a really catchy song. Go. Thank you. Some horror for you. A little horror you for you. You get a horror. Everybody. Okay. Um. Oh, at the sound of the song, as the song carries into the fog, uh, a horrible fish-like creature steps out of the wake of the beach. And... Jay? 
Just oh, it, also in here. Yeah. 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 Just let us know when a creature isn't horrible and fish-like. I mean, I have saved Adam. I saved Adam. You, 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 you did not you, affect what happened to Adam in literally any way. I killed the thing that was hurting him. That didn't affect anything, anything. that happened like, to Adam. Like, literally nothing you did helped. <laughs> Adam. You tried. I tried. <laughs> yeah. At least I tried. The Innsmouth mob moves two spaces towards the rental dock, dragging uh, anybody along. Okay. Meh. Uh, Great. Okay. Uh, you suffer one face down damage. I like the uh, mob. You can't. Oh, the mob. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like All right. I'm free of the mob. Now I just need to worry about this weird fish. Yeah. I like what somebody was saying that it's just it's just an infernal conga line. Yeah. Like, da, hold da, up, hold da, up. Da, 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 da. What's that? Mm. What's that? That. Hey, what, what the heck is that, that thing? What is that? What is that? All right. Hey, everybody, <laughs> everyone, all 84 of you. Wait, stop. stop. What is that? What is that? <laughs> uh, all right, so the monster is going to attack Surge. Yep. Uh, you scramble to escape the screaming mob. You got to make an agility check, bud. All right, I only have four of these now, but this is fine. Only four, eh? One success. Uh, you fail. Okay. The um, dice are not with you us. You no. suffer one damage and become dazed. Okay. I can become dazed. What does that mean? Ooh, fun. Uh, it means that you cannot spend clues to convert uh, results into I success. I have on you. I haven't had clues. on you. I don't have any clues. Yeah. It only lasts for a turn, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you suffer the damage? Yeah, I've got a wound right there, too. You have to look at the damage. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, back spasms. Drop a random item, then flip this card face down. All right. So my magnifying glass is now also there. Yeah. All right. Can I go <laughs> double insane? What happens if I hit you? The you die. Oh. It's the same as the wound. So either way, if either of your things, because you've been, you've. Uh, oh yeah. no. Uh, it moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator, and it attacks the investigator <sighs> in the space with the lowest thing. <laughs> That's I mean, me. Yeah. I guess they're the same distance, but. Uh, it technically, I guess this would be closer. I guess I don't know. It's it's the same distance in, in move. Yeah. Right. Uh, the deep one attempts to pin you to the ground. Strength. Resist with strength. That's not good. I'm just a butler, dude. <laughs> He's just a butler. <laughs> Leave well, him I'm alone. Lifting, uh, lifting tea trays. Nope. All right. Uh, you take one damage and become dazed. Hey, what's up, dazed buddy? Up top. It oozes fish smelling slime into your face. Gross. Can I flip this up? Yeah. yeah. Old injuries. You avoid the worst of it, but you aggravate an older injury. Flip one other damage face up. Ah, uh -huh. can't. Then discard the card. Hey. hey, it did nothing. Uh, each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with the highest horror rating. So, oh no, <laughs> has to do a horror check. Yeah. So, Surge, you're gonna do a horror check against the monster. Oh wait, wait, within the within range. Oh, because it's not within range because there's a door. So, yep. Yeah, and that's so a secret passage. So yeah, you're, you're hiding. Safe. Yeah, I'm it's hiding great. behind a door too. The right. people in the riot begin a casual conversation discussing the terrible things they intend to do to the object of their anger. You know, what's gonna be great when we catch him. We're gonna, we're gonna like, really hurt him. Just, just get really it's gonna, gonna be mess great. him up. What are you gonna do next week? Like it's just yeah, <laughs> that was yeah. a casual conversation. Yeah. It's like <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> I think I'm gonna you know stretch his limbs a little bit. Uh, uh suffer one horror and negate one horror. Okay. I get a success. So folks, uh people are having a real tough time on the audio. Mm. Weird. Uh which appears to be on Twitch's end, but uh, it's fine local. Like it'll be fine locally for the vo for the for the YouTube bot at least. Yeah, yeah I'm just wondering whether it'd be uh, worth trying a different ingest or something. Sure, we can try going offline and coming back on again. So sorry about this, folks. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try a different ingest. See if that makes any difference. Be uh, right back. All right, sit tight. When we last left off on Dragon Ball Z, Surge we, was taking horror damage. We killed the whole mob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we killed the whole mob off camera. It's amazing. <laughs> We're yeah. all saved. Let's go flag down that fisherman. Oh, nope, surprise. I'm actually panicked. Oh. Scrambling backwards. 
You fall over and hurt yourself. The pain uh, yeah. brings you back into focus. Resolve immediately. Suffer an additional face down damage. Oh well. Then face put this card face down. So you're three you're three damage away from dying. I'm one damage away from dying. What oh. I am one damage away from dying. Okay. If dying, I take one more damage, damage, I die. From being wounded. You haven't been wounded. I've already no, been wounded. he's already been wounded. What where? I He already discarded his stuff. Yeah. And it's taking that much damage that quick. Don't you have a status card for that? No. Oh, well. Well, we do have one somewhere, I just don't have it. Don't die, please. If I take one more damage, I die. Okay, cool. I mean, not cool. Very, very not cool. Oh, here. Here was my I am wounded. Ah! Okay. Okay. Decapet. Ooh, can't wait to see them lose. They don't <laughs> lose nearly enough on these streams. <laughs> yeah, it's a really... That's a really uh, satisfactory <laughs> viewer experience. What a, what a bummer. Man, you know what would be great if in Commander, if we all lost at the same time on Friday Night Paper Fights? <laughs> Nobody won, we all just died Ooh, at the same time. I want to build a deck that's like all draw conditions. We've had one draw, I think. Wasn't it you and I who had a draw? So, on AFK here on the Loading Ready Run Network... Um, what are we doing? Surge suffered his damage. Cool. Krim, uh, who's a guest. Yeah. Has an absolutely hilarious, miserable prison deck um, I, that I hope Ugh. he brought. Those because are, those are a bunch of words in 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 a, in a stream that you said. Yeah, and man, he it's hilarious to play. I want to see him win a game. Uh, okay. All right. So time to do some horde checks. Surge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that the horror check? No. That was a horror check. Was it? Yeah. That was a horror check for the mob. Yeah. That was, right. That's why I took that horror damage. Yes. Now Adam has to take horror damage from the fish person. Yeah. Yep. The Deep One's gills flare and its musculature seems to ripple beneath its wet, scaly flesh. Yeah. It begins to slam and claw at the ground in a fury. Suffer to horror, but will negates. Sorry. You've gotten rid of all of your bad rolls. No, I have three will. Yeah. Not very good. Yeah, no, but, but, you're, but, you're, but you're I'm saying you're gonna roll good. Oh. Yeah. See? See? You're okay. good. Uh, easy game. Beautiful. <laughs> Why don't we just do that from the start, Adam? Yeah, I don't know. You fool. We just needed to restart XSplit and Adam's dice rolling <laughs> skills came back. Uh, <laughs> I wish we could restart Adam. Um, Get her back. That's the... That's it. That's it. Okay. It's our turn. So if I may... Yep. Can I start the turn? just to see what happens. So we don't play out anything just to see if yeah. we lose? Yeah, and I'm gonna just run away. I'm yep. just gonna try and one. I have to make an evade check either way. There's there's, there's no question about that, right? recommend you run that way. Yes, I'm gonna run out, and I'm gonna and, and if it works, I'm just gonna try it. Okay. Yeah, the, the mob doesn't well, seem to be able to turn around. Because this, this thing is inside the shack. This thing's not... Yeah, so right. Surge, Surge can just whoop. That's the point. Sure, yeah, okay. Let's Pick up the gun on the way through. Try to evade. Block. You can go. <laughs> the mob two. throws several stray objects in your direction. Suffer two damage, agility minus one uh, negates, but then you flip okay. one damage face up. So it's not. Agility minus one is still four for you. No, because I also have a ruptured eardrum, which costs me an additional agility. So you literally <laughs> have to roll two. Or else and the I have over. no clues. Well, you have a turn and then the game is over. Right. One. So you take a one damage. damage. All right. And then flip one face up. All right. Minor injury, do nothing. You're a rip minor injury. Stinging pain. Oh, well. No. Mm. Yeah. You pull your hand back from the pain, shaking and clenching your teeth. You drop whatever you're holding. Hot jokes on you, game. I dropped everything already. Uh, then flip this card face down. All right, I have six wounds the second time. You are eliminated. Yep. What does that mean? Uh, we get one more turn after this uh, to see if we can complete the investigation. All right, so I, I, I guess I try and run away and I fall over dead. You tried. I tried. Yeah, you tried. Oh, I tried. All right. Um, okay. Is Just, there any way for us to actually get out of here with stuff? So I have... I'm going to go light evidence. this lamp. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's what I think you should do. 
I'm gonna call for the boat. I don't care if we got the other guy. Yeah. I so mean, I gotta move through the mob. Yep. All right. Do you, have any, do you have anything to light a lantern? I, I assume you just interact with we'll the find thing. Out. But I guess we'll find out. I have a fire extinguisher. The mob throws several stray objects in your direction. Suffer two <laughs> damage, uh, and then flip one. That seems really familiar. Shoot the fire extinguisher. We've already all got the stuff. Let's throw it at him, too. <laughs> Keep throwing it! How'd you do? Uh, I, I negated none of it, but I have no damage, so... None How much damage? That's a territory. Two? Yep. And then you flip one. So for two damage. Okay, so... Lightheaded. Uh, my vision swims. I worry that I am hurt much worse than I appear. Turn one horror face up. Uh-oh. Then flip this card face down. Uh, minor shock! <laughs> no additional effect. Flip it face down. Flip this damage face down. Then this damage, minor injury. Only a flesh wound, no additional effect. Flip this card face down. Now randomly pick one. <laughs> Three, six. This one. I'm lightheaded. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. The middle. Middle one. Minor shock. All right. <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right you can okay. keep going. <laughs> All right. Uh, where am I? There I am. Two, three. I interact with this. Use your fire extinguisher upside down. Yeah, use it backwards, right? Uh, all right, you can light the lantern Fart. only if you have a light source. I've got one. <laughs> Wait, the fire extinguisher, do the opposite of that. Yeah. Can't do anything else. Oh. Well, so you haven't done an action. I guess you could have looked at this tech. Well, I mean, I don't know. Rub the lead, rub two sticks uh, yeah, together. Yeah, you can know that you can, you can look at things that aren't your thing. I can, what am I going to do? Punch the mob? Punch them you 84 punch times. Them I guess I just you wait just here. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'm going to move here. So I have a bunch of evidence, and the journal's also there. You got some evidence. Let's go. Get over here. Okay. I got to evade this, homie. Yeah. You got to evade two things. To yeah. You'll have here. to evade the fish person first. I like... Also, Adam's insane, and we don't know what his win con is. I hit Adam. No, don't. <laughs> That's not what I was suggesting. Um, so I can't move there, because I'm moving one, two, I guess three. Okay, so I'm going to do a double evade. Yeah. Yep. All, All right. right. Evade the, first, the fish person first. As you flee, the deep one rakes at you with claws like sharpened coral. Suffer two face down damage, but uh, agility negates. I've got three agility. Let's see it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice. 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 So I move here. Yeah. Okay. Then I use my second. I move here. Hi. Can't my ghost saying hello? Yeah, I was gonna say you can't talk. You're dead. Look, we're in an eldritch world. Ghosts are everywhere. Rough hands grab you and drag you in the air, where you are carried along by the hands of the crowd. Crowd surf. Woo yeah. You need three agility successes. If you pass, you manage to see yourself to the that one. edge of the mob. All right. I. So I take. Uh, two no, damage. I just take straight up two damage. But then you you still get to keep moving. Yeah, uh, I take a minor injury and a minor injury. Dang. Uh, all right. Well, I oh, move. I guess you could have used the. No, no, that didn't come up as a clue. So no. Move here. All right, Adam. Do we get another turn after this turn? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe you two can escape. Fingers crossed. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come, come, come over to us. Do the same thing. You can. You're. You're not. Uh, uh, was it dazed? You're not. You can oh yeah, do, you're dazed. You can, is you gone can do now. more than one action this turn. Because you did that. That was last turn. You're well, dazed, dazed and stunned, or well, something like dazed that. Right? Only, dazed only prevents you from using clues to do things. Oh, the one that lets it, the one that made him not be able to use more than one action. How can I interact with other players? I guess Depends just, on what you want to do. Yeah. Oh, give him the... I had to look this up when I was... If it's related it. to items, you have to be in the same square as them, like the same area as them. If it's a ranged attack, you need to have line of sight uh, uninterrupted by a door. What are you trying to do, bud? <laughs> I'm trying to attack one of you two. Cool. Then you're going to want to... <laughs> then you're going to want to... Oh, you won't You're going to want to get over to us. You yeah. have to get to us. Okay. Yeah, just use an attack on us, I guess. You have a spell. Also, you yeah, like have a broken. spell. Yeah. So the question we have oh, is... Oh, wait, hold on. I guess we should do this. What's that? An investigator is eliminated again, ends at the end of the next phase. Okay, yeah. Okay. Or is it... Ooh, set fire. <laughs> cool. 
Um, can an investigator? I don't know. I don't know. I have to stop you. Okay. <laughs> try it. Yeah, that's. I have to try to stop you. If you have a ranged attack, maybe go outside. Does this count? Because this is open. No. No. There's no wall breaking there. Like you're technically in the end of a dock. Yeah. The rarely used action section. Whoa, well, hold on. Huh? What are you holding on? Line of sight is potentially misleading term. It just has to be three spaces away to be within range, even if those spaces are counted, for example, oh, around okay. the corner. So yes, you abs- one, two, three. If you step outside, but you can. There's abs- a door though. Yeah. So if he if he steps outside, mm-hmm. then he can hit. Ben. Then one, two, three. He could hit any of us. Yeah. Steps. Who has more damage? They're the same. <laughs> uh, but Ben is weaker because he has two out of seven, whereas uh, Graham has two out of nine. Oh, okay, correct. Bring it, Chungus. Yeah, I try to move this way. All right. So I don't actually so know first, how you would. I have to evade. So let's. Yeah. <coughs> I don't actually know how you attack somebody. Yeah, so... I don't know either. Well, we'll find while, out. while you're managing the iPad. The deep one leaps forward and grabs you by the throat, yeah. and attempts to throttle you before you escape. Oh, Strength. You're gonna get no. choke slammed. You're gonna get choke slammed. All that talk, and I'm just gonna get yeah. And you forfeit Strength? your action. Dang. Oh, if you fail, yeah, you forfeit your action. You need one success. Oh, okay. That's easy. Just one success. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, take a damage, and uh, it looks like. Does that mean it Face counters and you don't move? No, or you, you don't. That was his action. Next action. So he forfeit. No, so he doesn't move. Oh. It literally says he forfeits your action. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but yeah. you still have one more action. You want to try and do that move again? He choke slams at you. Do you get up? <laughs> <laughs> I stab myself. Are you gonna no sell this deep fiend? Yeah, I just popped back up. Yeah. Oh. He's exposing the business. The deep one throttles you and tries one to choke. One more time. One more time. Come on. The same exact what? thing. Did we give Adam that uh, that oh, face down damage already? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna cast a spell the deep one because I can't move him to cast a spell on you anyway. Well, you already said you were moving. I'm gonna evade. But I mean, I, that was my first action, right? Yeah. I thought you literally just said you were trying to evade. No, 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 no. no. Oh. I decided what I was doing. Oh, that's why I oh. slapped. Oh, no, sorry. no, I wasn't fine. sure what I was doing. Whatever. Uh, okay. Well, if I take another action, I take a damage. Right? Yeah. If you move more than once. Oh, no, no. If I move more than once. Technically, you haven't I moved. I haven't moved at all. Yeah. I don't know, sick. Uh, you know, it's going to be great. What? He tries to come get us, and he gets dragged by the mob because he can't actually get to us. <laughs> That would, that would be funny. It would be great if the mob goes up to the, the end of the dock. The mob's protecting it. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> if the mob moves up to dock two, that will be bad. Oh, yeah. that'd be so funny. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really matter what I do, so I'm just going to pass. Like, it doesn't. You don't even want to try to attack it? You're just like, yeah, whatever. It's All right. Whatever. Next turn. Well, that's the end of the thing. Yep. End the investigator phase. The cobblestones underfoot are rounded and uneven from the time's passage. This mythos affects any investigator in an alley or street with the lowest. Technically, none of us. Yeah. Everyone is safe. All right. Innsmouth Ma moves two spaces down the alley. Oh my god. Boop. The drag surges corpse. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. All right. <laughs> uh, no investigators in range. They quiet for a moment, putting their heads together. Ah, yes. Uh, and then they make a homie. Yep. They made the misshapen mob. And this goes where, sorry? In that, in their spot. Where they are right now. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, then it in- attacks the investigator. Yeah. It attacks Adam. It gives you a sinister Murgle <laughs> until you flinch. And then it lashes out with its claws. You suffer one damage and one horror, but your influence is wow. your you're it well negates. It's such a sinister Murgle. Wow. Noted Murloc. It like, it did that thing where I'm like, you flinch? Two for flinching. Yeah, wow. What'd yeah, you get? Got one. Do you want to negate the damage or the horror? Make choose your character. Uh, I'll negate the damage. All right. Murgles sinisterly. There's your horror. Oh, hysteria. Oh, good. <laughs> How's that? Screaming design? hysterically. You claw at your own flesh with your nails. Resolve immediately. Flip one damage face up, then flip this card face down. All right. Ah, grim resolve. Resolve immediately. Become focused. What's focus? Oh, that's actually pretty good for you. Uh-huh. Uh, you may discard this card to convert all 
You may discard this card. That can just it converts all the the things that you would normally be able to use clues for. I can't find any indication about how an investigator attacks another investigator. Yeah, I have no idea. Twitch chat, how do you PvP in this game? It doesn't matter. No, I'm really curious yeah, though, because yeah, yeah, yeah. like it could just you know what? Maybe it's just an opposed check. When it, Adam when it, rolls a skill, you roll. When a it defense. talks about insanity, it doesn't mention that the rarely used actions section doesn't cover it, and attacking only talks about attacking monsters. Yeah. So. It's not in rarely used actions. The, the rarely used actions are push, set, fire, and steal. Yeah. Um. So, anyway, you can't unless you have a thing that explicitly lets uh, you okay. do so. All right. Well, there you go. So he's got to just you got to stop and stop us in other ways. You could steal from us. You could lure the mobs towards them. I don't think that's. Uh. Okay. The deep one moves two spaces to the nearest investigator. Boop boop. He menaces you. Yeah. No investigators. Each investigator now makes their horror check. So we all, funny enough, have different monsters to deal with. So I am within range of the mob. Oh, yeah. So I take the horror check from the mob. Cool. Uh, they, ah, they were mur they're murdering their homies again. Cool, that's cool. That's so weird. I don't we're missing like it. Oh, there it is. So I actually no provision for attacking other investigators. All right, well, there we go. Uh, Guess what? I used two of my many clues. Fair enough. I negate everything. <laughs> Me. Yo! Uh, Adam, you are afraid, or both of you, I guess, are actually afraid of the two. Nope. No, no, no. Adam is in me. the room with this one by itself. Okay, so Adam's the deep one. Yeah. Adam, uh, this one, it scratches at its skin. Idly. Uh, and then just tosses it aside, <laughs> some of its skin, and it lands on your feet, and you realize that the skin is human, and the exact same shade as yours. Suffer two horror. <laughs> That's a weird. But my, so mo minus one on your will check. Oh, okay. Nope. All right, take so you, two horror. I die. All right, Adam's dead. You can. You gotta use, resolve them. You can use your <laughs> thinking doodle to uh, turn one of those, but I don't know if that matters. Uh, minor shock. No additional effect. You could use your thingy to reduce to not take one. Which one? Well, because he's got focus, so you could discard your focus to turn this one into a success. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He's still in it. <laughs> nice. Still in it. Literally can never die. Okay. All right. Uh, and then, uh, Graham, you're f yeah. scared of the the, the boy. hybrid. Yeah. Don't like him. We killed one of those earlier. It pauses, scratching at the skin on its face. Oh. Then it peels off. Of, everyone's peeling yeah. off their skin. Uh, yeah. It reveals slime-coated scales. If you, it's a will too. If you pass, you reach the conclusion that the hybrid's just always been a monster. Oh, cool. If you fail, you think it could have been you. Nope. I, I pass. You good. Hey, all right. Wait a minute. That's just gross. All right. Light this lamp. This, this is our final one. Okay, yeah, I move one and I attempt to light this lamp with my oil lamp. I light the lantern. You light the lantern, it burns brightly, its light pierces through the fog. Out in the bay, you see a light flash twice. If you can sink a little boat, you can escape, become focused, then discard this... token? So you need to signal the boat, probably in the radio room. <laughs> we lose. Yeah? <laughs> Unless Why? Adam can run there somehow. Didn't it, didn't it flip back at the... Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. GG! <laughs> Keep, wait, wait, before you end the game. Just yeah. like, what does it say on our current objective? Okay. On that screen that you were just at? Captain of the Lively has agreed to pick you up. You need to light the lantern on the dock, ring the fog bell in the tower, oh, and bring right. Agent Craven the to the fog boat. Bell. Which is behind the silver key. Holy we died way moly. too early. Wow. Yeah. There was a lot oh. of there was a lot of stuff to do. God. I win! Oh. <laughs> what? Read it. <laughs> what? You win if we lose? Yeah, you do not win the game as normal. Instead, at the end of the game, you win if the investigation is not complete. Otherwise, you lose the game. You win. Yeah, I have a crisis of conscience. It is clear to you. Or it's clear that you and your companions are here meddling in things you do not understand. Yeah. There's a natural order to the universe. No. And who are you to determine its outcome? No! I win! So the joke we had earlier where Adam was somehow yeah. going to win by himself. <laughs> and the next time we played, it was just going to be Adam and Paul. Yeah, I win! <laughs> Adam uh, set up the long con. That's the old, why. The old win by losing. Yeah. Right? 
The, what did you say in that one episode of Road Quest? Mm. We win, uh, uh, I win by being bad. Yeah, yeah. win by default. Yeah. Yeah. by being bad. So, so, like, if you know what's going on, it's not actually that hard to avoid the mob, right? Like, if you... Yeah, it's just yeah. going around in a circle. Well, yeah, the whole turn with you, the barricade and all that, right? Like, but if you get caught by it, it's real tough. Real bad, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, what, like, if you guys, if you were to play this scenario again, it wouldn't be that hard to avoid the mob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then again, the mob might, might not go around the same well, the, way. Well, the thing that I, that we were kind of talking about off camera that I, that I just sort of see from this is there's nothing that prevents, like, running away is the best option a lot of the time. For, from, from the mob, certainly. Yeah, but, like, even then, like, it seems like creatures always move two spaces. For the most part, mm -hmm. so it's like if you use if you do a double move, it's you'll take horror damage, but it's not going to catch you. Just put some space in between. Yeah, yeah. so it's tough. It's it's so interesting because it's kind of like it, it it's it, it, it's interesting because like in a in a regular RPG game, you fight and you kill the thing and then you save the day, right? But this is like I guess we're kind of just people. We're not really prepared to deal with. I think. Well, like, like, I mean, it did, did, it did explicitly say that you don't fight the mob. Well, not the mob. I think Adam trying to shoot the first Seabird hybrid, hybrid. We're like, we have a gun. This has got to be so powerful. You're like, how much damage do I do it? You're like, four? I mean, out of six? You're like, how many turns does it not die? And like a full combat from Adam. Then another one. Then me. And you're like, how can we not finish this thing off? To be fair, though, attacking that's... with the gun that always used agility three times. Well, yeah, I didn't know you guys always use agility. You guys, though. No, that's the yeah, thing you guys completely. Yeah. Like, yeah. You guys told. You guys specifically said it doesn't use the same thing every time. So I was like, okay, I'll just One try again. I'll get lucky. And then I, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like Very true. What, the information I was given <laughs> it was like yeah. I went with what I knew. No, mm -hmm. it's I, yeah, I, absolutely. It's, yeah, it's it's definitely tough. And then he switched to spells, which he was better at, and failed at spells twice more. Yeah, roll bad rolls. That's just the way it goes. And and I mean. People have come in and been like, this game is very tough. And this, this one was. It I was. we used our clues too early. Like, we ran out of clues fast. This was also the, the yeah, four stars yes. as opposed to two stars. The previous one, we got clues a couple times yeah. during the course of it. And, and this time, we should do your observation. I have a five observation. Unfortunately, uh, like, in the, in the, on the iPad, I was hoping that there would be a number of ones that were at the same level as our first encounter. But they seem to just get harder. Mm -hmm. uh, so next time we play this, because I do want to play it again. Yes. Uh, do you think? I mean, I know we didn't beat this one, but I, we've seen enough of it. Do you think that we just play the next one? Because there's no, I think 22. You try again. I think you try it again. So really? I don't think you saw the, enough of it. The this. map would be totally There's so much different. more to do. We don't know what's in here. We don't know what this guy does. We so don't know what the kid does. The map, this guy the has map the key could be for this. The map yeah. could be totally different, though. I it changes the map each time. Oh, yeah. It's not always the exact same thing. But it, this, this this one has to have the ring of... Maybe? Well, all right. Who knows? But either way, thank you so much for tuning on in. Yeah. JFK here on the Loading Ready Run Network. A reminder that everything uh, we do here is brought to you by you over at our Patreon at patreon.com slash Loading Ready Run. You're the reason you're able to do all kinds of cool things like we mentioned at the start of the stream. Uh, it's the Theros Beyond Death Pre pre release on Friday. It's the prefer. The prefer. Uh, and uh, we've got a whole slew of good, amazing uh, magic folk coming on in. Um, magic folk in the way like they play magic, not in that they are, are, are fey creatures. Well, well, all right. I mean, you Nadine, never know. If you hang out with Nadine, you might like realize. I've that. never met Nadine, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's possible. Uh, so, tune in on that. It's, uh, it starts at 11 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, 11 o'clock on Friday at uh, 11 a.m. Pacific p.m. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> um, and also a reminder that this stream is brought to you by the amazing folks over at wormwoodgaming.com if you want to get one of their uh, products, like, for example, oh, this dope this dice uh, tray that we use. Uh, you, if you live in the U.S., you can use code LRR for free shipping. And everywhere else, you can use code LRR World for $10 off shipping. Wormwoodgaming.com. The bones of trees and the skins of beasts and... Let me illustrate to you. I tested a few different, uh, oh. uh, a, f a few different um, offsets. This is what happens when the offset isn't far enough. No, <laughs> that's a, it's just, that's it's aggressive. Just, it's just machine gun fire. Yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> do uh, the do the normal one again. The nor uh, just the yeah. Way it was before. Yeah. Oh no, you got to actually go and change the number. There we go. 
Oh, yeah, that's way better. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, we've got a bunch of great streams uh, uh, coming up, but uh, they are getting a little bit wham jangled by the PPR. But there are still things going on uh, tomorrow. Uh, Paul, what do we got happening right now? Uh, well, right now. Oh yes, we gotta we oh. gotta get these. We got Ian's played, coming in. We have play it forward. That's happening in uh, like ten minutes. Five, five ten minutes. Yeah. Wow. So that'll be fun. Uh, Ian's uh, into Shenmue three, which Ian is into Shenmue. No, 3. I believe he this, has this... entered the end game. He oh. has entered. He's 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 beyond the. Are you sure you've done everything you want to do? Part of the RPG, sure. He's yeah, right. yeah. He, he's gotten past the the point of no return. And they're like, "Look, are you sure? There's all these forklifts still here. Look at, <laughs> there's stuff still in this gachapon machine. Are you sure you don't want to stay?" He's like, "No, nope, no." Nope. Julian says he's almost definitely going to finish it tonight. So, which will free him up for tomorrow night when he'll be doing uh, Tinker Taylor. But before that is going to be a chill point. Yeah, we we'll uh, setting up uh, for uh, the PBR, so not you, a full you, checkpoint. You and Heather mostly? Uh, myself and Heather and probably Peach as well. Okay, cool. That'll be tomorrow for chill point times. And then, uh, yeah, tomorrow night, Tinker Taylor's Holder Fry. Um, sometimes on PPR setup day, we've had opportunity to do uh, an LRR MTG with some of our guests in the afternoon, but other times it's just not been possible. So I'm not going to make any promises of that. Keep an eye on Twitter. Uh, and then, yeah, Tinker Tailor Solder Fry, uh, Ian is going to be uh, disassembling some hard drives oh, to uh, take their... <laughs> the, to take, take their, their essence and take consume it as his own? Yes. Uh, and then, Theros, Beyond Death. We should get a, why don't we have our graphic in there? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, so, that's going to be happening on uh, Friday starting at 11 a.m. Terrific. And then, on Saturday, it's Adam's Game House. Woo! Playing the Persona 5. Also a reminder, uh, I'll probably talk about it on Saturday, but that show is going away. Uh, after Persona is finished. So okay, tune in for the finales. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, whenever Persona's finished, so it's like, yeah. I got another, like, 40 see, hours. See you next July. year. For, yeah. See yeah. you next year for the final episode of Adam's Game House. But yeah, that show is going away. Uh, and then Rhythm Cafe on Sunday. Neon Fum. Yeah. They always have such cool names. Uh, and then. Oh, right! Brand new Dice Friends campaign. Dale's on Monday. Returns. Yeah! Dale's Returns. Uh, he's gonna Every be. Dale's Returns! Does, uh, does James write these? Secret. Uh, yes. James? Uh, but we he's gonna be uh, Only one day running a new campaign. Uh, it's just a short three uh, episode campaign using yeah. a system called Over the Edge. Yeah, what this is, is the next in Dale's ongoing quest to find the best system for streaming. So this is a new uh, this is a new system that I don't think uh, any of us have uh, used before. Uh, but uh, the uh, I believe it is going to be um, Cam and Kathleen. I'm just looking it up right now. And I'm filling in for one session. Uh, right, and Adam and then Corey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and who is... Uh... Hold on. Ian. And Ian. Yes, it's Cam, Ian, Kathleen, and Adam and then Corey. Yeah. Adam and then Corey. Yeah. So uh, one that'll be really cool. <laughs> Great. Cool. Uh, and then we're back to normal stuff uh, next week with uh, Mine O'Clock, where James, Uno, and Serge continue vanilla Minecraft, which is not vanilla Minecraft. Mm. James. Oh, and then uh, isn't it the, the time change? Uh, yes. You can yeah. see that That's Mine O'Clock and Tine O'Clock. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> uh, mine O'Clock is now uh, at 10 o'clock. Yeah. What did you say at Men O'Clock? Men O'Clock? Men O'Clock. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Yes. Mine o'clock will now be men o'clock. <laughs> yeah. And then um, Talking Sim is at uh, one thirty. Yes. Now. And that's uh, Cam and I will oh. be uh, oh. looking at a uh, game called The Manhole, which uh, for those of you who uh, don't know, yes, yes, get all your snickers. <laughs> <laughs> this is the game uh, that this is the game that Siam uh, made before Mist. 
Oh, oh cool. Whoa. Uh, oh, cool. And I think it could possibly be considered one of the first walking simulator games. It wasn't called that at the time. Well, of course not. But it is it's it is very much a uh, just sort of look around kind of thing. There isn't actually any what you would call game <laughs> play. Uh but it was an inter it's an interesting sort of thing to look at. Cool. Um, so that's what we're going to be checking out. Climb on into the manhole. There's a Rogue Quest shirt. It's comfy as heck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then there's going to be Let's Nope. You guys keep keeping keep going. Oh, to we're, good. we're going back to Daymare. Nice. You better believe it. We're going to finish that whole game. Begrudgingly. Right. All right. You don't seem that begrudging about it. You seem pretty happy about it, in fact. Uh, it's. it's it's, it's an experience. Yeah, I mean, I, I, again, like I know that there's already like pre-established like so bad it's good games you've got to play. Yeah. Um, but this definitely qualifies. This I would put the, throw this in the ring for like the room esque sort of. They're gonna play games. the game, and then they'll be playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> if they're playing the game, that means they'll be playing it. Mm -hmm. Yep. The first rule of Tautology Club is the first rule of Tautology Club. I mean, the fact that we think we're gonna have any fun in this game is uh, kind of a. Uh, a uh, 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 hubris? A hubris? Herbus. Herbus. A herbus. An act of sheerest herbus. <laughs> we were playing God, but it was merely an act of herbus. Let's let's go to the subs. Yeah, yeah. we should get going. Thanks everybody for joining us here. Uh, we were we were finishing on time, but now we're now we will be delaying Ian. Yeah. Whoops, sorry Ian. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, let's uh, welcome the subscribers because we want to thank everybody who helped us with everything we do here, but in particular, I want to thank the people who subscribe to the stream, starting with... Prof Membrane, thank you for the 48 month reset, welcome back. Lucha Libro, for 30 months, welcome back. Loki, oh, damn it. 49, thank you. 69? No, 49? Nice. It is... 49? It's Loki 69. 69. 69. 69. Yeah. Loki 69, thank you, nice. nice. 30 months, welcome back. How do I pronounce the first part? Is it Gaelic? Is it suddenly like Sam? Or my show Sam? Shazam. Shazam! 117, I summon you for 11 months. I thought it was SEO Sam, as in like search <laughs> engine optimized <laughs> Sam. Yeah, I die! Was that brand new Sam? <laughs> <Welcome, friend. laughs> Sonic Dano for 22 months. Welcome back. Hey, I Amethyst, what up? 29 months. JPSS 92400, thank you for 11 months. <laughs> Under Cree, two month resale, welcome back. Timbium <laughs> for 44 months, welcome back. <laughs> Dead Rekka for 63 months, welcome back. Chris Canny, brand new sub, hey, welcome. welcome. Thank you, friend. Channel. Not Riachi, thank you for the 63 month reason. That's a stale piece of white bread. And it's been here for a whole year. I mean, been I've, been here, I've been here longer than that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cyprane, a brand new sub, welcome to the channel. Well, so apparently if that name was Irish, it would be pronounced something similar to Joseph. Huh. Joseph. Interesting. Mm. Hey! hey. Um, Dog of Myth gifted a sub to Thoth7, the person who was helping us out with a bunch of rules. So thank, thank you, you. Bits 19! The 42 month Risa, welcome back. Woo! Professor Blossom, for 30 months, welcome back. Cragor 001 for two months, welcome back. Falcon Talos, thank you for 63 months. For Chorus 1 with the 11 month Risa, welcome back. Matt Andre for 75 months, welcome back. Captain Wolf for 13 months, welcome back. Marty and JJ, welcome back. Thank you for that resub. <laughs> I mean, Comrade09 in the 77 not. month resub. Thank you for the support. Blame Twitch. We try. Yeah, gifted by Gunner. Thank you, friend. I like that that's a. I hope that account actually like streams a bunch. <laughs> Brightstorm Rising, 31 month resub. The Darium for 22 months. I was like, Graham goes, then someone else, then me. I'm like, nah, just, nah. El Duardo with the five-month reset. Ah, uh, the road to El Duardo. So far, Julie Mon, it's only been the one, but 
Uh, Red Bassist uh, for 28 months. Welcome back. Single Muse for eight months. Welcome back. Zero Gateway is a brand new subscriber. Welcome. I'm trying to emphasize on the capitals. Gildan Bladeborn has been playing D&D for 54 months. Uh, and all these are gifted by the Maricat. Hey. That deep one, fisherman from Innsmouth, unruly mob, congrats, you can red. Thank you, Maricat. <laughs> Ulysses for 21 months. <laughs> gifted by the Maricat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't know if Paula reset I love the thing. That we still have that no. button. No, that was the last one. That was the no. last one. I thought the bar wasn't full. Bar was full. Yeah. We have, then we have. Oh, to Amelie. To Amelie. To Amelie. Thank you for for the... a fifty-two month resub. Yeah. Welcome back. And for some amount of bits that came in. Yeah, there was the bits. bits too. The bits. Where are the bits, Paul? Damn, Paul, he's hiding the bits. Paul. Trying to keep Bogarting the bits. 1650 bits from Chris Candy, Ninja 84, Not Kane, Nor Able, and Xanto 69. Nice. nice. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning on in to AFK this weekend. Week. Uh, tune in next yeah, week. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Don't oh, do God. that to me. Sorry. It's okay. We'll see you again uh, soon. Yeah, tune in next week where we play more board games of a kind that I probably should have written down before I said goodbye. So, bye. Bye bye. <laughs>